out the heat warps them what's up full podcast man Woo! we got george perez and um edwin saw one but our guest is edwin saw one that yes. was in the middle in the hot box and we put george perez in a corner but let me tell you man <laughs> nobody puts baby in the corner <laughs> <laughs> shout out to a back um swayze for crazy we crazy no, for swayze no, um Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing. Patrick Nobody put Baby, Baby in the Corner. In the corner. Yeah. Crazy for Swayze, dude. <coughs> wow, man. I guess you, sh- you should have sat over there, bro, because um, every- I don't have... You're the old- you guys don't have eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sideburns. Sideburns. Is that eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> eyebrows are new sideburns. And, and I should be know. over there. T- I should be over there with a... With a with a cone on my head that says Duns for not knowing the difference between <laughs> eyebrows and... They look the same. I mean, kind of. Right? My eyebrows Damn, are like thicker than no, everybody's nothing. here, dog. <laughs> yeah. But look at it. no sideburns. You're no sideburns. They they, they uh, fucked up my hair, dude. Who I, cut it, bro? For the last two months, a right? A paisa lady cut my hair. That's why, bro, you never go to an older paisa lady because she cuts her hair the way she wants her grandson to look. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. In documentado way. She be talking to you like, oh, man. Me, <laughs> like I want my haircut like this. No, mijo, no, así no. <laughs> she makes you throw out the trash after the haircut. <laughs> yeah. Quieres pan, mijo? I haven't got a haircut in so long. I can't even remember right, when I had hair. Bro. Man, when we met Edwin, he had hair. Yeah. Get a fade, fool. <laughs> what year? What video. year was this, Felipe? How did you meet Edwin? I met Edwin. Uh, he, he showed up with Jeff Garcia. I know by himself actually to the Wild Coyotes when they were called Gotham's, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah, and he already knew Fly, barely knew Fly, uh, barely. Dope. Fly came in like five years after that. But I remember, man, he would show up because he was working at the juvenile hall center, I guess, somewhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were a counselor, home. right? Yeah, working in a group home. And I remember, man, they went home with some hot ass chicks. I was like, <laughs> oh, man. He did? What? I was like, I was thinking in my head. I was like, hating, right? But you don't know how to hate? <laughs> yeah. Some kind I, of I was, hate. I was saying to myself, damn, he's going to get up tired tomorrow. He has to go work at that school. <laughs> <laughs> All that work you're putting in. Yeah, but it was must, like. N- nothing must have happened because I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> hey, him, but they were you... him. Back then, you were, you were superstars of Montebello, bro. Hell hey, yeah, but did dog. you put them up? Put them up where? Like did 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 you get to well, go up? Yeah, were yeah, you going yeah, up yeah, already? Going yeah, he was going up. up. Yeah, he was living with Jeff already. Right. Oh. Yeah. Off How was mind. the process to get up at Wild experience. Coyote back then? The process. Bro. It wasn't like a sign up sheet. <laughs> <like, laughs> the, the process, process. was yeah. break it down, brother. The process was don't be cute and funny and cock block Willie to get up. Hey. <laughs> 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 Leave with the open mic. You know what I'm talking about? Sorry, Benny man, I couldn't put you up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck, man? Come on, bro. People were like, <laughs> That's are you scared, was, bro? Because there's like a lot of gang members in there and cholos and shit. But I was more scared of like saying something that f- that Willie might have. Might have been said. Willie's joke or something. You know what I mean? Bro, like, bro. Like, oh, that's Willie's bro. joke. Don't say that. Like, hey, bro, I breathe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you breathe? Like, what? <laughs> Fucking Willie tainted you. Bro. you one time, right? Yeah. I was with, uh, I was with, tri- nah, you, did. I think you told me to host it, eh? Cause you would always leave, and back then, back oh, in the those Russian days, guy, the German guy bought it. <laughs> <laughs> the blind guy. Armenian back guy, then, man. Felipe was huge in Salinas, dog. He would go to Salinas, oh, shit, anything dude. for like Salinas, every bro. other every other month, dog. Yeah, and he man. was like, "You're popping out." And here. then that fool, was, and he was like, "Look, for the budget's three hundred, keep one fifty, dog." And I was like, "I thought the budget's bigger. I know you're getting yours, but all right." <laughs> and then. I was up there, and then this fool was like, hey, homie, you're already funny, dog. Can we dance now? We know you're funny, dog. Can we dance? Who like said that, nah, dog? Yeah, and I was like, fuck you, homie. Dance? Like, how dance? Like, you know how afterwards? Over, you remember, so when they, remember when oh, they, yeah. it was over? People oh, yeah. would stay and dance, dog. Oh, yeah. Look how weekends. Who was the DJ? That white boy, right? Chase Matthews. Yeah. Yeah. Full name here, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh like a, my god, sounds like a band, bro. dude. Remember, he used, to, he used to sell weed too. Fuck out of here, yeah. bro. But he got a full name and criminal activity was next. <laughs> so, hey, homie, that fool threw a fucking beer at me, and you I know, sh- me being fucking like 
You caught it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and took a drink. Nah. Uh, <laughs> fucking Braveheart! <laughs> I am George Wallace. <laughs> hey, if, hey, if, remember that big ass chancla that was on stage? <laughs> remember that, that, was, that, that was Debbie's dog, Scooby. <laughs> Scooby. It, big it, looked like, it looked like her face. <laughs> We talking about Scooby, the comedian from like 20 years ago. We don't say yeah. bad words on this podcast. Yeah. Oh, so it, it it hit the fucking thing and it kind of splashed me and I was mad, dog. So I threw my spooner at him. Remember the big spooners <laughs> yeah, they man. had? And then it was a rat full fucking. Who was the guy with the slacks? Oscar? Yeah. Uh, Oscar and Al was the black dude. Yeah, yeah. And and Trenton, Trenton was like, hey, homie, we'll go through the kitchen. This fool's calling the cops on you. Like they lit me early and I was like, what the fuck? I'm jamming. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, it's funny man the week before that before that happened someone threw you were there the week before that remember someone threw a bottle at Benny Man now did he catch it or no no Benny Man no I did you threw something at the audience member right yeah I okay. threw it but the week before that <laughs> someone threw shit at Benny Man now yeah some, uh, some dude broke a bottle on the on the what was that? That little bar that they had there? Yeah. That rail? Yeah. yeah fuck so that's when that, the gay law first came out. There was two dudes sitting there and I was hosting. <laughs> gay law? Um, what was the gay law? It was like, you know, when uh, they were trying to make a, do away with, uh, you know, gay people getting married in California. Oh, okay, so what's yeah. going on, gentlemen? Fuck, the gay first law. date? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, first date? <laughs> and that dude went up there. Come here, motherfucker. He broke Come the here. bottle, dog. Yeah, and he broke the bottle on the stage. Damn. Yeah. It was brutal, that bottle. audience member, <laughs> man. Because they got... <laughs> What time Way I was like, you like. Carlos Lomo was on stage and they were heckling him hard, bro. The rally monkey, fool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were calling him, though. Somebody said he got to go, rally monkey. That's what the angels yeah. were doing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it was horrible. Oh, dude. Dude. So, uh, what's the comedian name? Jalapeno? Oh, oh Cesar Serrato. Cesar Serrato. Yeah. What? From Hermosa Beach. Cesar from Remember the jalapeno? Oh, oh that fool that Apple. looked like sugar free haircut? And you're throwing no. a curl. I'm you're not Fresno, so, fool. Yeah, that joke. He's not my homie. He's no, he's not your homie. Fre- he's not your homie. Yeah. 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 But Dick, he was from Fresno. Him and the brother. Remember? Long hair. Yeah, Look like fucking. I know who. Yeah. Hey. Like parts for the owner. Hold on. Hold on. Bob hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Like Carlos Quinto. Hold on, fool. Hey, did this fool dress like a mariachi at Mixed Nuts, Felipe? Yeah, he came with a bus full of people, fool. Yeah, dog. That was for his album, bro. <laughs> that fool stayed in joke, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, oh my god, dude! I'm not, I'm not I'm in not, Fresno, uh, bro. Uh, okay, what the fuck is it? And um, not... and people were waiting for so, him to say something. Now to, they were ready to charge that stage, bro. I'm not when Sudeño. he said, "I'm not Sureño and I'm not Jalapeño." No, no, I'm no. not Sureño, I'm not Sureño and I'm not Norteño. My whole thing is in Fresno, right? So <laughs> it was quiet, bro. Waiting for okay, my fuck, what, what are, are you? you? You know, my hometown. And, and he said, <laughs> then he said, I'm Jalapeño, but that got the audience more angry, bro. But it's yeah. funny that you did <laughs> what you did right now because he had a T-shirt of him like a little Jalapeño oh. with hair. <laughs> And he would open the shirt up and, you know, kind of like, oh, and show him. Hey, anyway, market, dude, he went up on stage at Wild Coyotes, and they were heckling so bad. They were yelling out that shit. They were yelling out before they killed that dude at the at the Cuban camp in my in Scarface. Oh, yeah. They were Revolution. Yelling, they were yelling, oh. Yeah, dog. They were yelling out, Libertad, Libertad. Oh, oh my shit. God, dude. You're a you fucking fool, that, dog. Dude. Yeah, nah, but hey, dog, the first time I, I met Edwin, it was that fucking. Remember, he, remember they had that club real room? Yeah. Where the stage was like aluminum and that shit. That was the OC right there. Yeah, Fullerton, yeah. I think it was. Right. We'd uh, have that place packed, man, on a Tuesday night. Yeah, that shit was bumping, man. And then George was like fucking just begging to get on stage. I think we were doing your mama contest yeah. and stuff like that. You weren't even a comedian yet. Nah, I was a cholo. I'm still I'm a, a cholo, cholo for more. <laughs> I, was, I was a full time homie. Bro, back then, I was on, on, um, I was on Yahoo Messenger chatting with somebody and there was a girl that went to one of your shows that you were doing and she told me you were funny but before i even heard about you i oh, said wow. no he ain't nah <laughs> <laughs> she said she, you, you probably know her you probably know her uh, dude she i don't know i gotta but make her look bad back then but did she want to fuck no, she, oh, she's shit, a big fan. You were fucking asshole. She, she was not, not at all. None. I didn't want to fuck. <laughs> she was just telling me about the whole show, and uh, she was saying, "Oh, the host real funny. Oh, what's his name?" And then, um, yeah, George Perez. Oh, yeah, I heard of that guy. 
He goes, where, where, where was the show at? And then she told me where it was the show. But that girl used to have a show in um, Mama Tamale. Mama that Tamale. sounds familiar as fuck, dog. The girl had black ass hair, bro. And she was my age, but she was like a, already looking, getting close to looking like a cougar already, bro. Oh, wow. What a yeah, I think her name was, I don't, know, I don't know her name, but she used to go to walk, bro. This chick used to go to walk coyotes, fucking Carmen Casino. Bro, I should uh, fall on these chicks. Big fan. When we're doing comedy, I would see girls at Casa. Oh. But I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. No, my bad. My bad. <laughs> Good drink. I met, you look thirsty. I met these two lesbian chicks that were big fans. They were lesbians with each other? Or? They were doing that. When, that's when um, Alfonso was doing um, the side room in Pasadena and you guys did it. Oh, yeah. What was Oh, yeah. Right next to the brand, uh, back to the brand new King Taco. It was the Ambiente, yeah. right? Ambiente. That's Bra- yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. But it was a I long. Really remember that. But you still yeah. had Casa Latina. Yeah. And um, that chick, those two chicks went to that show because they were friends of um, the real estate people there, right? Uh, and, um, dude, they went to walk Coyotes. They went to the fucking Commerce Casino on Thursday. They went to the, the fucking improv on Friday for that show. Saturday walk coyotes. The surf. And then Sunday. Yeah. Right. Sunday at Camachos, that. Eh? Sunday at that. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, and, hey. I was, and I was like, fuck, eh? These chicks are watching me do the same jokes wearing the same <laughs> clothes. Fuck, oh, <laughs> That's the, like that movie Almost Famous where all those roadie chicks and shit. Oh, shit, dude. What did you, what did you, where do you remember your, like, bo- both of you guys, where did you guys bomb? Like, you remember, like, I know you bomb at different places, but. Were you like when you were doing those shows in East in the East Side? Cause, cause man, a lot of people could do a, you could do a lot of shows. Tell me the truth, bro. You could do a lot of shows. East of the fucking six oh five freeway without ever touching Hollywood ever. Yeah, huh? right, yeah. right. Like the Orange County out there, right? But where did you I, bomb? I, I would say I bomb like a, like hard though. Wild coyotes or tortillas because everybody they see you there every week and they know your shit. So when you're doing the same shit, like. It's fucking. How was how was your your first set? You did good though, right? Yeah, I did good. But I remember one time being at Daily Planet, and it was like me, Felipe, Willie, like Dante. It's another tough ass room though. Yeah, but it was like six, three, five people there. Right, it was like fucking. Everyone was gonna go up and eat shit, and then I tried to do material, and it just fucking. Everybody was laughing at me. The comics were like, yeah, because it's like that's when you got to go off the top and just kind of fuck talk about how fucked up the situation is, right? Like. But I was too new. I didn't know. You ever brought a girl to a show named Bomb Hard? Nah. <laughs> nah bro, I'll this? start doing your jokes. Eh? <laughs> I've only bombed by myself. Bro, that's funny, that's funny you say that. Cause, t- t- do that story, bro, when Joe Diaz told us that he was bombing. He was doing everybody's jokes. In New York, oh, right? Man. I heard this story, dog. <laughs> Willie Barsetta, nothing. <laughs> Rudy Moreno, I should have got the gun and killed myself. <laughs> but he tried everybody, dog. Yeah. Fucking. Oh, 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 fuck. Freddy Soto. Freddy Soto, fuck you and your dad. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best yeah. one. Boy. Hey, hey, and then afterwards, <laughs> he says, no, nah, I heard the story. He goes, hey, dog, <laughs> it was Rodney Dangerfield and Madonna, right? There was somebody in the crowd. Well, that's, I guess, when he was uh, in uh, Miami and he fucked, I guess, Chris Rock and Madonna were in yeah. the audience. He's like, that's it. It's my, this is my town. And yeah. Boom. And, and that goes, was another bomb. Yeah, though, he bro. goes, bro, I did Felipe. I did Fluffy. I did Freddie Soto. He goes, fuck <laughs> you. Yeah. Hey, hey, no. Nah, he goes, at the end of the day, dog, nobody would have made it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> like, saying if we all were. <laughs> you were just hating there, dude. They were just hating there. It wasn't there. your night, bro. You already know th- thought about it, dude. Yeah, but hey, for so, the, the time that I bombed was uh, R.I.P. Dog Rudy Funky Combadina. Uh, he had that room. Uh, Remember Shamrocks? And two those, eh? It was like in the harbor area, dog. Shamrocks? Yeah, and I was I was like maybe a year in. Well, you want to fight the crowd? <laughs> <laughs> nah, dog. And I, I was dumb. I was like, yo, homie. He goes, hey, I have you going up second. I was like, nah, fool, I'll go last. Don't trip. And he's like, all right. And then D. Militant walked in. And D. Militant had every cholo on there wanting to be a Black Panther dog. <laughs> like he murdered and I just ate shit. And that was the first time I didn't want those 35 bucks that were supposed to be 50. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Man, you have been uh, you have been like driving after a show and um 
there's a everyone destroyed, bro. There's a oh. motherfucker in the car that bomb hard, dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's driving, eh? And he's driving. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So I was like that when I got out of prison. I just got bridge. out of prison and MTV Your Mama was having a competition. It was like it was like NCAA. Like you know how they do the brackets? Yeah. And it was thirty it was thirty two of us. And then I went up against Tony Hinchcliffe and I didn't know who Tony Hinchcliffe was, dog. And that and all my I brought all my homies. And that fool, I was wearing the cream sweater. You know that Cholo cream sweater with the silver? I was wearing that shit. And Tony goes, damn, fool. I know Mexicans drank horchata. I don't know they wore it. Damn. And man. all my friends the whole way home. Like, hey, pero. That, <laughs> that, that white gay boy looking about to beat your ass. Hey. <laughs> you should have told him, who's gay? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gay? <laughs> yeah, what about you, Aaron? I, I, I remember going on a date once. I was taking a date out, and I was just killing in the car. On the way to the club. <laughs> Let me give you a little pre yeah, raise the yeah, bar, yeah, huh? Yeah, I was like, fuck. And then I go up there and eat a dick. Like, but she was like, oh, you said all the jokes you said in the car. And I felt like I did. I thought I was just being funny. <laughs> but yeah, fuck. What was that at? Uh, it must have been, I think I was going to uh, the Laugh Factory, maybe, or something. I, I, don't, I don't remember exactly, but I remember taking her out. And it's a Jewish chick. You must be bombing somebody tugged at your, at your pads. <laughs> what? Like your Look, mommy? Hey, like somebody the, grab your pants. And they're, like like, a, they're like the light, eh? Like, like, a, like, demon, like a demon from Ghost, bro. I play music. Yeah, I have to be Tacoma when I was bombing, bro. So black guy pull my pull my pants off. <laughs> now, for you know hey, what sucks off. is <laughs> one time. One time I was killing full and I fucked up and I did cocaine for two days, so I forgot to brush my teeth and like a tooth. I had a mean ass toothache. <laughs> oh shit! Just what? Some more, eh? Wait, what? <laughs> now, for I was at the store, dog, and like I was well, begging did, for did, the light to come. You did two G's, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I was G's. killing, oh, dog. God. I was killing for, but I was like, "Come on, give me the light. I need to go take amber." I, 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 I had ambasol, Viking, and cocaine in the bag, dog, right there by the piano. Pharmacist, <laughs> hey, dog, I was killing though, dog. And the crazy part is, I followed Why David. Teeth loose, bro. What are you biting on, dog? <laughs> French bread, bro. <laughs> they got snacks. Got here, sour later, <laughs> hey, sourdough bread. He's, oh, he's hard ass. He's pasta. You know, cooking. <laughs> <laughs> what big hook <laughs> it was some expired talkies i was eating dog. Was but nah one. dog i remember i know you feel it, dog i know you feel it. like hey dog like the fucked up part is it hurt till i got off when i got off it stopped hurting i was like oh that man. adrenaline oh, that's weird probably, yeah we would think that adrenaline would make it go i remember nah. i remember bombing one time and then i was like i don't know what to say felipe and then felipe would say he said Say thank you, good night. <laughs> <laughs> I said thank you, good night, and got the fuck off. Hey man, but when you, when you were, um, Edward Saw Juan used to have a badass room in Rosemead back in the day. Yeah, on uh, 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 Rosemead yeah. and Muscatel. Muscatel. Oh, fool! We were on a road trip. Garvey, right? Two feet. Yeah, we were on a road yeah. trip, right? And uh, we were driving to San Jose, the improv, and we pulled over to the side, and we saw a couple. They were driving their kid to um, Chico State, and. Um, the wife, the wife said, the guy remembered us. He said, uh, uh, Roger, oh, Roger. Dog. Yeah, 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 dog. Hey, hey, yeah. Is he alive? No, I, he said, yeah. I seen him like two he years said, ago. Yeah. <laughs> well, so but, where'd you see him? Uh, in front of his trailer park right there on fucking, uh, on Garvey, fool. Right there before Dude. San Gabriel, right? Like, I would just after, after Rosemead. <laughs> I remember he peed on But himself. he was already fucked up, though. Yeah. He wasn't all there. <laughs> But he yeah, had like a he, perfect he memory. He yeah. thought, yeah. Like the memory, he would recite fool's jokes to the yeah, team, like, but with the voice. He yeah. was fucking. Because he would do Jeff's jokes, dog. He was like, autistic. I was like, dude, fucking stop. He bro. was autistic and he memorized he like right here, all dog. the regular people's jokes. Yeah, yeah. really. He's like, a yeah. heck of a guy. He would be talking to somebody and they would turn around and go, What's up, dog? I just yeah. <laughs> Jeff does it. Where you from, puta? Where you from, puta? <laughs> he was With a little face, dog. Fool. He was no, see one. The spinneroony, fool, on the yeah. floor. Yeah. <laughs> So he lived in those trailer parks right there on Garvey Yeah, Boulevard. but he'll walk up and hang That's out and he'd like start getting hey, acclimated with hey, a little yeah. bit for free. He, he was, was a star too. Yeah. His arm was so strong he could pull Pops his arm straight. No, yeah. it's, uh, it's that shit that those fools have. It's like socket. retard grip. Bro. Yeah, retarded strength. Bro. You know, they'll like, grab you and they'll rip your <laughs> shirt off. Lenny yeah. from Isa Man, bro. Yeah, yeah, I remember some Rabbids. fool's brother did that shit to me one time. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the rib. I was like, fuck. But he used to kick it with Felipe, Shoot dog. Shoot that fucking thing. Like, Felipe knew how to, like, make him normal. Yeah. <laughs> You're one of us, dog. <laughs> 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 he holding that shit. 
<laughs> I always had, dude. That's one of those fools that like would shave and just have a five o'clock shadow right away. Already, huh? yeah. yeah. Like like a thick Allen, ass fool, like dog. Tim Allen in the Santa Claus. It's funny, dude, because he, he, all he would do like put on that sweater and that's it, but to look like curly. On three <laughs> but that shit would only come around like like November and December, With though. Patches. That was his little dinner sweater. Dinner sweater. <laughs> yeah, he's had that little, that little third grade polo shirt. Your room was weird because, man, like, there'd be so many ballers there, bro. Yeah! Real estate yeah. motherfuckers. That was yeah. before the, before the, um, the bikers. Now, it's because Dude. that fool Edgar, they own the next tail, right? The phone company? The, yeah. I didn't oh, even know they owned that shit. Yeah, they, so they used to have, like, back then, Rizzo, they used to sell cell like phones. Like kiosks. Like yeah, yes. Yeah. Those, those are popular. So like next tail was them? He, well, they owned the next tail next yeah. to it. It was next door, yeah. Yeah, it was oh. next tail and next door. Early 2000s, mid 2000s, those people were making so Bro, much money were, at those kiosks, dude. It people would show up with borders, Harley Davidson that were brand new, brand new cars. Even that one dude with that boat that one time. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, like, he pulled up with the boat where they're showing it. I it. hooked up with the most chicks at there in El Patio. A lot of hoochies there? El Patio. Man. Like and for, and they a had, whole hallway full of no, it was they, The bathroom they, was right there in the back, and you had to walk up. through the hallway. Yeah. And, and so all the comics. Flooded, people dude. Now all the comics are standing right there. The hallway. So you even yeah. know that bomb, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they had a buffet, dog. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Come on, you know that shit was But the sign, the sign outside said Mexican Cantina Buffet. Because they spelled <laughs> buffet wrong. Yeah. So it was like, and buff it was Felipe's feet, like buff big fat. One F, two E's. Boba yeah. Buffet, bro. They put two E's. Hey, remember when that, that shit was dying out, bro? And then the, the fucking cur- the curtain got closer to you, eh? <laughs> but you know what's crazy when that place started out? The stage was like just a, a pallet. Remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah and then they know. added a stage and then they put the stage on the side and then you know. Oh, that's totally legal, huh? Because they have oh, a license fuck, for, yeah. for no comedy show, right? Wasn't well, it like a lounge and or something? And dancing. Yeah. What was the heyday of the Indiana's and shit? Like, like, when was it when it was like so popular? Like, all you guys were getting like, you well, know, Felipe I, was a rookie. You know, bro, I, nice sloppy yeah, toppies. I saw nah, fucking, he was um, already seasoned there. Already. I saw Rafi May there. Um, Bowden. Th- that, Alonzo Bowden. Alonzo yeah, Bowden. Yeah, yeah. Diaz. Corey Holcomb. I am, um, yeah, Corey Holcomb. That dude. Uh, Brian that, Holzman's been there. Yeah. He used to get on that stool and shit. What's his name? Jimmy Smooth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh he's funny, dude. Yeah, it was a trip, Rizzo, back then. Really? Bro, we're talking about Ralphie made wife was on stage, eh? Oh, shit, dude. Get the, but, get what the, the camera up. And then, like, <laughs> this fool killed me, bro, because somebody had called her robot with advice. Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Play a power chord. What's she, what the heck did say, bro? They're ruthless over there, bro. I remember, dog. Uh, ruthless and now, ruthless. I, I remember the first time I met Felipe. I met you at um, Long Beach. Fly had the Cohiba. Damn. Oh. Remember that shit? Off of Pine Street. Right? <laughs> and then Felipe goes. Upstairs, right? Yeah. 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 You Felipe goes, you George Perez? And he was just shocked. Because he was like, damn, this is a real gangster right here. And he goes, <laughs> hey, fool, I know you're funny because all the fools that go up, they don't like you, eh? Dude. <laughs> 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 I remember with Ch- um, Chepo, man, from episode one of the What's the Fool podcast. He said that um, he would always tell people that... Um, I'm the one to let him host. Remember? <sighs> Adamant about that. Yeah. Took yeah. People remember stuff when you do things like that for them, bro. Give them an opportunity <laughs> or a chance. Right? Yeah. But what ha- remember what happened is the devil was like, hey, since, since George drove me, he's going to he's gonna <laughs> host it. He lost that fair and square, dog. Right or wrong? Yeah, because he couldn't drive. Yeah. <laughs> that fool was bringing bus. his own Gatorade in there. Hey, like, bro, the he throws electrolytes, homie. Hey, hey sad, what doggy. comedian brings their own drinks to the club instead of the two drink minimum? He brought two Gatorades, dog. What's the, uh, that that <laughs> fool, <laughs> that fool, I got my two drinks. That fool hey, be virgin like, out those motherfuckers, bro. You're going to be all smoking a little joint, and then the, there'll be a little left. He goes, let me have that, man. I'm, I'm going to do the ice house two days from now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, dog! It's funny. <laughs> Hot times, player. That fool's so tight. Indians and Jews are waiting for him to drop a book on tipping. <laughs> he thought he was black because his mom was dating a black guy. Remember? Yeah, remember the fool from Ross? Remember Felipe was like, I, know, hey, <laughs> fool, I was in the car. I was in the car, dog. It was me, you, Juan, and Edwin. And you were hitting the fucking. Remember Edwin rolled those joints like his hands and shit? Ah, fuck you. <laughs> and then you were like, what's up, fool? Your mom's on her honeymoon? And he's like, yeah. And you're like, she's getting bone right now. And this fool's wearing an Allen Iverson jersey <laughs> from Ross. 
<laughs> that fool used to wear a headband, though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he swore he could ball. Those are the Nelly days, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but like, he honestly. He went to the game, huh? Yeah, I, I met him because uh, he lived, didn't live too far from me. I think like in San Gabriel. And then like uh, I, I yeah. would pick him up in my Coro- my Celica, bro. He lived past Wild Coyote like 10 minutes. I'm Dude, so I, I introduced him to yeah. Felipe. Now I don't hang out with Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Hey, that's dude, crazy. Happened, no, but you know what? <laughs> For you three guys, you guys are the OGs of the first Chicano movement in comedy. Like, there's Paul, Paul Pride, Willie in them. <laughs> but, like, yes, yes, do, honestly, though, like, do you guys ever regret you didn't have a camera guy? Because I'm like, if you guys had a camera guy recording oh, all your shit, it'd be, it'd be like the yeah. Bones Brigade, right? Yeah. Like the like Zypher that. team. Yeah. Like, you guys are the Zypher. Right, right or wrong? It'd Come be on. like a it's sick ass docu- right here, It'd be dog. a sick ass documentary. People would be like, Well, we should like- do like the VH1 and just recreate it, dog. Yeah, <laughs> you should, Felipe. It, you know how hard that would have been, though? Because back in the days, the cameras were so big, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, that fool want to get high, it too. Hang like, out with hey, the chicks. Hey, hey, get out of here, cameraman. Yeah, hey, who's doing yeah, the news, bro? Yeah, dude. Gonna do that shit. News reporter here, dude. Hey, put the camera down. Let me hit it, dog. You and girls got wild, dude. He's a godfather, huh? Yeah, for my confirmation. Yeah. Wait, what? Uh, hold yeah. on. Hold, yeah. What, 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 what the fuck? Wait, what's I'm, going on I'm, here, bro? I'm baptized. Uh, I'm first communion and confirmed. I'm a wait, Catholic. What what? Did, what's wrong with Edwin that? Was uh, Robin, did you Roman get confirmed? Catholic? My, how, how are you I was involved? 25. Well, this was, this you were 25? <laughs> that's your Nino? That's my Nino. <laughs> You're his Nino? That's yeah, my yeah. Nino, te homie. That's your Nino. It was like, you should be sitting on his lap, dog. I don't want to hurt him, dog. <laughs> Wait, you're really his Nino? Hey, you should go on tour, bro. Nino, Nino. You yeah. got baptized at 25? Yeah, it was late. It was like Wait, right how does around. That For real, dog? Well, he's Confirm. a crane, bro. Why? Wait. He's a crane and drop him in the water. <laughs> how, how else did that happen? Wait, who, did your parents make you get confirmed? No, he decided. That actually, it's better when you do it older because you really believe. You're not you know forced you, into that yeah. shit. It's a decision Shut you made. Shut up. Bro, I have. And they went to Hong what? Kong afterwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hong Kong before. We had to go bro. pick you up, dog. <laughs> Wait, nobody forced you, you to go to Hong it? Kong for? <laughs> Dude, this was it was a bad it was a I think it might have been a tough time because you I don't know if you it were going through something. 2006, right? It was right after like when you hit him with the tennis racket. Yeah. <laughs> it was like right around that time when he was like kind of. Hold on, explain, <laughs> there. Hold on explain the tennis no, I wasn't racket. There. I wasn't there, but explain the tennis I heard racket. The story please, around please, the world. Please. Tell me the story that you heard, because that's a because Chepo was the one that told you, right? It might have been. I don't know. Because the ones that were there were no Chepo wasn't there. You had Chivago and you had Carlos Loma, and then as soon as that they called. And then, like you know, the next day it was like those oh, fools were it Instagram. Turned, it went from Instagram. a fucking. It went from a fucking. It went from a plastic fucking paddle to a fucking tennis rack. <laughs> Ping pong. Nah. And then this fool threw two bows at me. I fucking skipped him. Nothing that happened. Full, left. I heard it was like a fucking like yeah, Serena fucking Williams. Williams. It, it was a, one of those. It fucking, broke. Um, a ping pong paddle. One of those fucking a Eskimo fly shoes. And I told that. I told this fool. I was like, if anybody, you should be hitting these two stupid motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. Hold on, fool. Stay back. Stay back. No, no, no. <laughs> but that had nothing to do with that. I'm a Catholic no matter what. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, I know. Hold on. But you kind of fell off. You Why? fell off the map with Felipe a little bit, right? No, I point? didn't talk to Felipe for three years. Was yeah, it, man. Was Felipe, yeah, Dang, bro. Yeah, but I was still doing yeah. comedy. 2003, yeah, yeah. 2006. Yeah. It was like two and a half hey, years. Why cra- did you do it, dog? That was crazy years. I'm trying to get my citizenship right now. Was Felipe just feel? Let me steal this fool's fucking confirmation paper, bro. That fool. Hey, that fool took an extra drink ticket. <laughs> no, I was drunk. Like, this is what uh, I, I'm, I'm, he was going, fucked going, up. You were fucked up, right? Now, I want to hear from you, though, dog. We couldn't find a bolsita, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, the fucking promoter kept lying to this fool, and he fucking kept trying to stall, stall, stall this fool's pay. And then, wait, what fucking, city was this in? Fucking Salinas, fool. Oh, Told God. you, dog. Hey, and fucking hey, Salinas, <laughs> dog. This fool would come back throw lemons at people, dog. God. All the fruit that he seen in Salinas, he would throw it at people. Let me make some. He lemonade. was huge, and he still be. Oh, Felipe was. I threw a lemon at somebody, huh? Yeah, I was there, dog. <laughs> Let me make some oh, oh, at a bo- oh, hey. I'm picking for you. Nah, hey, for you took a shot, then you threw a lemon at like there was a girl security guard, and it hit her, dog. Damn, yeah. she got all sour. I was there. I signed it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> but, but hey, so what happened? The promoter wasn't paying him. No, the promoter wasn't fucking paying him, stalling him, and those other two fools wanted to leave. I'm on the couch. I'm like, dude, I'm just gonna fucking go to sleep. I'm fucking tired. It was Chivago and Carlos Loma, I think. Yeah, 
And then I just hear. I was flashing prices, bro. And then I I just hear, wake up, dog. And fucking this fool smacks me with that shit and it breaks. I'm like, what the fuck? You might not get paid, but you have a story. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. No, we didn't get paid for that gig. Oh, shit. No way. But it's all good. Motherfucker, I'm a soldier. I don't know about all these fucking guys out here pretend to be somebody. But uh, anyhow, (laughs) so that's what happened. I got fucking pissed we left. But then look, and that's why that other, I never said anything, but I'm not going to say anything. I'll tell you after. Because oh, we want the pay per view. You ain't gonna get that one down because you weren't there, fool. Uh, but the but, uh, racket was no, yeah. <laughs> but uh, what happened was remember you went Sony. You got crazy on that fool's pad, and you know who fucking uh, kicked his what door in, and then we took off. Oh, you and know the, who this guy was? <laughs> that was the guy that used to book us at Cilantro's. Oh, Cilantro. I remember hey, did that, that guy yeah. come to the show in San Jose? No, no, guy? On the you know right now. Yeah, because he promised chicks Watsonville. A bag and you know other yeah. things that never like fucking happened. I I got it. Yeah, and the other guys were just like. Sort of incredible, Felipe, bro. You see them? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's the only reason I know. <laughs> I know the only reason I know that fool told you is because the other the other fool that he called that those other fools testified to told me. Um, you know, no, they, were trying to get, they were trying to get in with you and do yeah. slanted comedy. Hold on. So what's the story, dog? It's you, Carlos Loma, and Chavago. Yeah. yeah. And Felipe fucking just, just first prices. serves but you on know, you. I know, I remember on the way home, nobody was talking about it. I don't know shit. What happened, right? <laughs> you blacked out. Are you on a sick we, one? We went, fuck yeah. You blacked out like a werewolf. We went to yeah, yeah. Uh, to meet the <laughs> Malachis, I think, <laughs> yeah. to have Olive Garden. No? No, it wasn't that time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went straight home. Dog. I thought we drove to pick up money from Malachis. And let's breast it. Hell no, there was no money. For what happened. <laughs> you I just drove there. home, dog? Hey, did they make you drive? I, it was in my car with Chivago. Wow. Chivago. So wait, were you pissed off at that point? Or is that when you guys fell off? Of course I'm you, fucking pissed yeah, off. Yeah, right? Dude. So then you guys didn't I'm talk for dick, a while? No. For like I'm just years? like, dig, what the fuck did I do? Right. Yeah, but I'm man. just like, but still at the same time, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I want to do stand-up. Right, I'm right, right here, right, dick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, I don't know how cozy your life was up until right. this fucking juncture in time that we're doing this podcast. But still, that's I was mad. That's why I didn't talk to this fool. Right. And then I had like a recorder, and then we would send Carlo Loma, oh, he needs a recorder. I'm a fool. If you can come get it, dude, I'll fucking hit you with it, dog. And then it would just, oh. but it wasn't. I didn't, but I, didn't, it, I, didn't, I didn't talk to this guy again until I was all cracked out in 2000. It was at Wild Coyote. <laughs> yeah. And then you came up to me, and he's like, oh my God, it's going to go down. This fool was there. And he came, hit me with this fucking type I was of deal there. bottle. <laughs> you were outside. <laughs> but I, I seen this fool. <laughs> dog, it's kind of go. Get it over it. <laughs> and I, I was like, this motherfucker, dog. But I mean, you know how it is, Dick, when it's not you. <clears throat> yeah. What's up, dog? So he all hit me in the fucking head with his Tapatio bottle right now, Silent Bob, dog. I'm on, nah, fool. What I just, I just want to fuck. I just want to fucking work. See, that's why I laugh when all these fools say they go through little shit, which is like yeah, this ain't yeah. no milestone, but it's just like you motherfuckers are fucking pussies. But anyways, Whoa. but uh, and I didn't. I said fuck Dude, that. I just want to work, dude. You cut Jeff Garcia's grass, right? Hell no. That was Richard Villa, right? Yeah, that was Chapo. <laughs> oh. Hey, you better rewind that one. <laughs> <laughs> I almost kicked that fool's ass. <laughs> almost. Nah, he won't. He wouldn't. <laughs> you know, like I'm not trying to promote this shit, but fuck no, yeah, that. Yeah. Damn. At the end of the day, fuck that fool. I, I, I have, you know what I have? I, I always have nightmares of when he was living of Edwin living at the fucking loft. I, I didn't know you guys back then. No, no? no. when he was living at the loft, I always have dreams that I break in. But then I remember I did break in. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that credit card? You don't even break in? Hard, hey, Felipe, you don't even know, dog. Like, back then. Oh, that was that. The, yeah. Edwin would never I, say I had the shit. ID, bro. He used to to stay, bro. Because <laughs> you knew the, the door guy and everything. Yeah, back then, for Jeff would be like, hey, don't fuck with Felipe in there. And I'd be like, fuck you, You got to say that now, dog. <laughs> nah, right or wrong, dog. He told you not. No, I don't. I don't know. What I'm talking about. <laughs> right here. Huh? Don't bring me into it. Eh? Give me a racket, though. <laughs> <laughs> here. Eh? Now, nah, hey, this is the fool that brought me. Jeff, in. bro. I met him through my friend Mondo because he Mondo DJ that Mr. Billiards. It was some place where all these tweakers would end up going. But I, I know guess Mondo. Jeff hang out you know, from Mondo. Downey. Yeah, I did a yeah. show recently. In his a backyard. Show. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the backyard yeah. show. Yeah, Flanco used to fight. live with him, I think, for a yeah, while. Yeah, Flanco lived with him, yeah. 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 But Mondo said, I got tired of taking that guy to the ER. Oh, fuck, <laughs> yeah. Man, like, <laughs> you took him before? 
Yeah. Taking oh, no. who to the ER? Flaco? Flaco. Yeah, because oh. he used to live with my friend Mondo. But that's how Why I does he go to the ER? Because he's always... Opium, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. He's addicted Opium? to that cocktail, homie. I don't know, man. He was sick before, but now he's better after his operations. Oh, that's yeah. good, man. Good for him, eh? Yeah, yeah. 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 He's doing right. better, yeah. Sounds good, yeah. Good. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's how I met Jeff through, through Mondo. But the thing about Jeff or his personality, because he's always fucked up, you know what I mean? And it's like, you got to babysit him and stuff, you know? And I got tired of it. Yeah. Then I think that's when he started getting into trouble when I wasn't around to bail him out or maneuver him out of a bad situation. You know what I mean? It's like, but you can't hold someone's hand all the way through. They got to figure shit out. Yeah. I could you never try to be his Nino, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he is. I, miss, I think his son's oh, named after me. Yeah. Joseph Edwin. They hear everybody's Nino, bro. <laughs> I know, man. Huh? You're the real godfather, What's the bro? process to be a... You want to <laughs> be confirmed, bro? But you... you, you you change religions, right? I got confirmed when I was like 14. My mom made me. Then she I did her making you fit. And then I dated <laughs> a girl in high school, and she told me if I wanted to marry her, I had to become a Mormon. And I, I got baptized. They put as me a Mormon? There, as a Mormon. And then after Still that, we broke up mom. years later because uh, she wanted more men. Hey. Oh. Still you're my morning. <laughs> and then, yeah, man. So I'm half Mormon, half Catholic, bro. You've you seen your mom with other bottles? Wait what? <laughs> you no, my, mom, my mom's not a cat. No, my mom's on. My, no, wait, wait, what? You seen your mom with other guys that ain't your dad? Yeah, I saw her with the, a couple paisas. Yeah, 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 dude. Oh shit! Right, well, this one time I saw a paisa, I thought dad, it was like, a, I thought it was like a fucking, <laughs> I thought it was like a fucking a wrestler, bro, because they had like a big old belt, but what? it was like a. That's that a buckle. A, that was a buckle. That was a fucking WWE belt. Have you worked in Vegas before? Before? No. You. Before. Like before, like, you, like when you used to go to Vegas before, like no, no, no. The only the first time I went to go party, like small rooms before, well, like before he was at the Planet Hollywood. Yeah, just uh, we did. Uh, I remember uh, Mesquite. With, yeah, but it wasn't. It was. Uh, it was Las Vegas with I don't even want to say who, but Andy Kern. Well, it was part of that little thing, oh. and it was just like a who? horrible ass Andy bar, Kern? bro. Really good promoter, but right. you gotta fight pimps off of him. It was over there off. Of, <laughs> it was off of Fremont, fool. Uh, I, oh, downtown. He's still yeah, yeah, the, the OG yeah. shit. Yeah, bro, yeah. I did. Um, Fuck, I did horrible at show. Uh, a, a casino back in the day with fucking um, the headliner was the head, some old headliner from Boston, and Craig Robinson was the feature. No way. And I was the opener. Wow. And yeah. where's that headliner now? Probably still headlining, bro, because he was headlining when Willie was featuring for him. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. That's crazy. wild, right? And then Craig Robinson was hosting Last Comic Standing when you want it, right? Yeah, man. I remember like somebody told me, Felipe, you know, people, how was the gig? They probably bombed, you know, or something, but whatever. They didn't tell me how the gig was. They said, bro, they got the best coconut shrimp ever. <laughs> and back then, let That's me tell you, bro, I've never had coconut shrimp. No? So my, hell no. Nah. So my ghetto, I had like all the, took the whole tray, bro. That's wild, <laughs> dude. Bomb when you have that shit for the first time, dude, it's a shit. Bro, I had dude. ranch. With coconut? I wasn't even getting high, bro. It was fried with coconut. Yeah, that, I like that. Ju it, it comes like in a weird cream juice. When yeah. did we get treated that well? You know? I didn't even know. It. I didn't even remember bombing on the gig, bro. It was bomb, bomb, <laughs> tight. The food was bomb. I don't know what I did. But. Bro, me, me and this fool was, I did a show with Willie for for um, these kids in Coachella Valley. Oh, yeah. And... um. They liked us so much, they brought me back for less. And, um, <laughs> and, um, and then he brought me back for lesser. <laughs> so they asked no, me, um, they asked me if we wanted, wanted to do the Red red, red um, Ribbon Week. It was like um, anti-drugs. So I wasn't even doing drugs back then. And him, just marble lights and joints. Barely gamble that I know of. I was, but, but when I was fucking driving with him, I realized there was other casinos besides the ones that... um. We were going to, because I didn't even know, bro, that there was a fucking tent off the 10 freeway with casino. That's how Mor Morongo and all those places what, started. Right? Your parents used to yeah, go, right? Bro? Like a circus? Yeah, bro, they've been this in Pachanga, the 90s. Pachanga 2 back in the day. AC Shut tent? Up. Yeah, they and a put big tents up yeah. while they're the building the rest of the building. So and they, they start getting more money, come. more successful. Because like, yeah. yeah. they started with Bingo and Kino and shit. It's a big old white tent. Like they're fumigating? And then AC, the side of the is going... Yeah, it's ball or AC, people huh? gambling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, dude, Pie gal. Here, they get us. We get there dog, to do the show the night before. So we we, we um brought back out. I, I wasn't even smoking weed back then. I wasn't doing nothing. Sober dog. is attack. Nothing, and um, not even gambling. 
So we went, we went to go gamble him and I, and um, at the whatever the resort around around the area. Get back to the hotel, bro. I never seen a California king, bro. It was huge, bro. A huge that king bed, bro. Get lost in the bed, huh? And this all native Coachella, and they fucking left these little ass voodoo dolls, bro. Oh, that's scary. Uh, the little native dolls, and we were like, "No, they full hardcore Catholic, bro." You go, "What the fuck?" Okay. <laughs> yeah, but they were for good luck oh, eventually. Yeah. But there was only was one bed, opening, huh? dog. So we made a long ass tarp in the middle, and we set them both. <laughs> yeah, sides. yeah. And I took that little thing and used like a butt plug. <laughs> so Felipe wouldn't get any ideas. And the next day, bro, <laughs> we did we did the show, bro, for all these kids, bro, like half asleep and shit. It was in the daytime, right? It was early, I remember. At a school or what? Yeah, auditorium type thing. There was this fucking hot cholita there, bro, with sandals, with <laughs> yeah, oh with, man, with dusty ass feet. It's a desert, so we let it slide, bro. Yeah, it was gorgeous. Huh? It makes sense. He was spitting know? game at her. Well, he she was she liked Edwin because Ed, she liked Edwin Michael Jackson. Fool, what's up? I remember that bit. That was a classic bit. That's a classic but anyways, bit. He had, you know, Edwin was like a good new comic, you know, and that's the kind of comic that I used to like to use. Because after the show, he said, you're going to pay me, dog. And I didn't even argue, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pay you. Because I was thinking, my head, yeah, he ate casinos, more weed. I had, yeah, talked yeah, to I, Dirty Toes. I'd just <laughs> be happy to be there on the road. And then there was a hot chick at the end. She wasn't a student. and She was like a Teacher's Aid or something you had like the, that. You had like a Toyota 4Runner at the time. Pathfinder, yeah. yeah Pathfinder, oh, I yeah. That shit. So you knew him Pathfinder? Yeah. So, I met Edwin in 2001, 2002. Yeah, I know him, but Pathfinder, you had a motorcycle too, huh? Yeah, no. a little Honda Rebel. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. him, the green yeah. Honda. I, so I almost the, crashed it. With and the, like, and the gold one, the gold Honda. And then the cool. Honda with a sand, rusty-ass salt on top. Yeah, yeah, I had about three different That shit has psoriasis man. like me. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> us, bro. What are you talking about? That's how we bonded. I was like, you got psoriasis too? Fuck. Yeah, hey, we both had psoriasis, dog. <laughs> bro, I remember going to Edwin's house on a Montebello bus just to kick it in blaze. The Montebello bus? Yeah, dog, Dude, my, my mom house. loved you, bro. She would cook food for you. Holy shit. I she would always take, ask about you and both you guys. Yeah, I used to take showers at his pad before my shows. Bro, me and Chepo, yeah. bro. Me and Chepo, bro. We will fuck. I'll meet that fool in Whittier at the, at the Whittier stop. And that fool get in with his shiny ass glasses, bro. Like, <laughs> that fool dog, Straight man. Worse than medical. I, I look over there like you writing jokes. He writing these rhymes, bro. Hey, fucking like, em, like eight mile and shit. I went to eight mile. <laughs> so he had his headphones. He's ignoring my conversation, dude. Just talking. My mom, yeah. my mom spoke. My mom spoke. I gave us all the eighth, bro, and I tagged him everybody for half. Eh? <laughs> you don't know that, boys. Give me half. I remember meeting you like at uh, <laughs> a laundromat by your house, like because I wanted to just hook up with you and like maybe write or something. But you would like come to at the laundromat, bro. Was that where you were living by Silver what Lake or something like that? What laundromat? Some laundry Lucy's. mat. Lucy's. Lucy's. Uh, had a laundry mat over there. Yeah, I was, I was back, when I barely started comedy, bro. But I remember meet you there, and we would like you'd help me write jokes and stuff. It's probably one by Seven Eleven in Silver Lake. It wasn't Lucy's. Uh, the one next to the or, subway. Uh, Who's gay? What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, when did you guys meet Joey Diaz? Like, bro, I saw him at the co- at the Laugh Factory. What year? Yeah, I, did, I don't even know the year. It was 1974, cocksuckers. I was on my way to see Pink Floyd. <laughs> yeah, there was no year on the calendar. It was a leap year, cocksucker. Hey, was he skinny back then? Nope. Nah. No, nope. <laughs> no. He was always thin. I remember he had a big ass Coke ball on the side of his neck. Oh, for oh, oh, like he's trying to get talking about he that. Put some shit. glasses and the hat on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was that like, boy had a years fanny he had pack it on there, right bro. Here, bro. It, it looked like it was like a baby bald head right here, dude. It was all the money he owed drug dealers. Bro, I don't know what, dude. I remember it was so big that he brought that shit into his act. He got to do the bump for me and a bump for the bump. Yeah. <laughs> it was like Total Recall. Remember when that, that lady had three it? titties and shit. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, bump it was for the bump. Bump for bump. <laughs> Put some glasses on him, a little hat. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> shit, bro. I think I met Joey Diaz through Ralphie May. I might have booked Ralphie. And then that's when I started booking Joe Diaz afterwards. I booked Joe Diaz immediately when I saw him at the Laugh Factory. I got his phone number. And I said, that's what's funny for the wild coyotes. And then oh, um, yeah. Willie right away thought that was too dirty, but he's a perfect wild coyote, bro. He'll yeah. put his pants down. He'll start singing and shit. Uh. His butt yeah. crack hanging out. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, the, the plumber. It's mad flavor. Plug. Yeah. Rizzo, when are you going to pull your pants down, dog? I do. I used to sag uh, to my skin. Oh, yeah, parachute pants, pants, man. It's almost there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to sag Go my... Go with their conditioning, dog. <laughs> Those those pants are made with recyclable uh, Vons bags. They're they're still kind of starchy, bro. These pants are they're, they're new. <laughs> those they're not starchy, dog. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a cholo, dog. Those <laughs> pants don't have creases; they have wrinkles. These are vintage, bro. The, the guy who wore these, bro, built a skyscraper, bro, in um, in um, <laughs> Empire State Building, in oh, New those, York. Those there's a picture, sit on the rail there's a picture of him, bro, smoking a cigarette, bro, a poster. Carpenter uh, pants from the high beam thirties. The high beam pants. I was gonna say a story when uh. Remember when we went to uh, Fresno? Uh, I was an asshole. And those too, guys yeah. wanted to hang out. Yeah. Then, hey, dog. Hey, I had to like show this fool, like, nah, homie. These girls are going to use you. Yeah. So, like, we met the, them at the show. The one who cut your cybers? <laughs> dude, I miss my cybers, bro. It feels cold without them. Hey, but dude. they were fine. Nah, bro. They were fine at the time. Tell us about when, um, when he was, <laughs> my ladies when he was dating. Um, don't say names, fool. Well, you know, you were dating somebody, and then <laughs> you started liking the niece, and then somebody got mad. Oh, oh that was Edwin. Edwin, yeah. Oh. I was about to say names. Oh, okay. my bad. I thought it was me. Well, now I was dating. I got mad? <laughs> no, you, no, know, you were cool with it. dating Shannon. Oh, yeah. Shannon, And then yeah. she had, to, had the niece. And Portia. Then, Portia. The, the, oh, the, damn. The, 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 yeah. <laughs> Whoa, dude. What was her real name? <laughs> <laughs> I was Portia. I was no, Portia. No, no. I was anyway, name. so he like. Doo, 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 doo. So we're dating. You guys dated, yeah. Right. But she she initiated it first. I you know like I was like okay. Did you fuck? No, we didn't. We, we didn't have nowhere to do it. You know. You would have got no guest spot. You would have got more spots with that one. <laughs> you know, I, I know. One time I think uh, I think uh, she was out of town and then she was you want to come in and I was scared. No. <laughs> I don't know. I was scared, dude. I was new. Oh, I know who you're talking about now. You remember that? It was like it was yeah. like 2010, dude. 2000, yeah. I remember, uh, yeah, I mean, she wasn't blood related to you. And then homeboy told no. me, oh, dude, you can't be doing that, bro. Like, you're fucking up. Like, really, dude? Like, I was all scared. Who told you that? Fucking like, was, the guy we were talking about earlier. <laughs> Episode one. <laughs> Episode. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, what, dude, what? you should be doing that to get the rules. Because I took her to Iguanas, <laughs> is dude. An, is this an indictment? I dude? took her to Iguanas. She was grinding on me on the dance floor. And then fucking like, like she, you, he was like, dude, like, what are you doing, bro? That's, Ed, that's Edwin's knees. Like, no, it's not, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's his nephew. So you, got two <laughs> so you got two kids now? I have one. I, I had a stepdaughter, but now we're Who's gay? separated. <laughs> I thought you had two kids, two um, daughters. No, just the one. She's great. One's his, and one's a stepdaughter, right? Yeah, stepdaughter. Yeah. So, I don't know if it's going to be my stepdaughter anymore. So it's cool. Damn. I get, I get, I, I get my birthday back, bro. We share the same birthday. So I was like, fuck. There goes my birthday. Wow. what happens. <laughs> How old your little girl now, dude? She's eight. Wow, yeah. time goes by quick. She looks like you, too, though. That's dope. You and your mom. Mm. Yeah, she's. Amazing man, best thing that happened to me in my life, you know. But it's all good. Oh yeah, dude. She's growing too fast for me, bro. That's crazy. She's taller than you. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when you first saw I got that gig in uh, Vegas. It was like what 2013. How'd you get that gig? Yeah. And who's gay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I got that gig because of you, bro. Really? Yeah, because uh, you did L L.A. Comedy I never Club. turned it down. What? No. Nah. Because <laughs> well, that's I when met... you guys were headlining, right? Going no. out there and Willie, too, right? Edwin showed up when I was working with... Um, Matt and Joaquin. Matt and that's a team. The, the, the cool cool people, by the way. Uh, L.A. Comedy Club, yeah. They were... Uh, I was doing the Trader Vicks. Right, right. Yeah, And then man. Felipe said, I man, the headliner only does like 25 minutes, bro. You can come and... Headline, like I don't think I was even headlining at that time. So I just came in and I did a guest spot, and the next thing you know, they brought me back to headline. But, but yeah, I wouldn't have got that gig. I think it wasn't for you. So oh, was the like, oh. sweetest gig ever, bro. I think it was actually twenty minutes. Want you to headline? Yeah, that's, that's a push ass spot. <laughs> oh, in <laughs> Vegas, you only do one hour shows. Five hundred dollars for the opener to, to do five minutes all week. What the right, bro? right? And then um, the the feature act, I don't know what he got. And then the headliner got what he got, and then but the yeah man five minutes and if they get over you go over they get mad, and no no talking in between hotel and <clears throat> a fat ass meal at Trader Vic's. That's a because you you dude. barely started headlining at that time or is like officially headlining. Yeah, I think that might have been my first headlining weeks getting it. Because that's how I met you through him in two thousand one, right? Like at my last like you know couple months of college, 
And the only reason was that girl in Riverside that I told you that I met, Michelle O'Malley, back in the day. Oh, yeah. And she said, go to that comic. club. Comic. Yeah, a girl comic. And then um, I Filipina. met him that, yeah, I met, I met her. She was funny. And then uh, I met you that night, and then I met you that night, but you took off with a chick right away, right after you said, what's up? What a little homie. And uh, Willie was on stage, he's all, this fool's going to be on stage forever, and this fool cut. And then, he's all, and then this fool's all, just say hi to everybody, whatever, be cool, and then we'll see you next week. We have a photo. Um, I don't Man, know. that's so many years ago. We have a photo of that night. I don't know. Bro. We don't have it right now, but you're wearing overalls, and it's Those me. are the overall it's days. Me, it's me, you. Uh, you're wearing a hat, and it's... Um, DVD. Uh, I, I even is there wearing his jacket. Yeah, those were mad overall days, dude. Yeah, tirantes. You had to wear, but did you wear underwear or did you wear like you had to wear? <laughs> Damn, like, no, I don't know, dude. It's free balling <laughs> overalls, yeah. but then you'd have the one that was unbuttoned. But can't you see through like in there, dude? But, like inside. The what side I wanted to tell you is, when I met my nip was all. What I wanted to tell you guys real quick is when I met you guys in 2001. You guys to me were already like headliners because I would see you guys like do 20 minutes, and this fool would go on for like 25, 30 before bringing anybody on. And then, you know, also when you guys would, you know, do spots every, everywhere else, it's 15, 20. We were used to booking room when nobody showed up. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, hey, hey, how many times did you get? I know you guys both had rooms. And um, you, you had El Patio in Orange County. You had a, the fucking Casa Latina. And I had Wild Coyotes. How many times? How, how, how hard was it, bro? Like, this never happened to you guys. And, pe- and pe- anybody listening up there, man, like, you probably just... You think it's, about, it's just all about the hee hees and the ha ha's. But these two had solid ass rooms that paid. Right. And um, <coughs> when, the, when the fucking community didn't, or layup didn't show up, dog. Oh, that's annoying. Dude. I was happy for because I was going to keep the money. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you, but that ever happened to you? When you just, yeah. So you did host the whole shit by yourself? No, I, I hosted it. And then like the you know the you know those all kind of folks, please let me get up, let me get I'll up. I'll headline this motherfucker down. Yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. I went up, brought them up, did the time, and I just did Yeah, you put a the Mike Merrill, huh? <laughs> what happened oh, to Mike Merrill? Well, he, he's still dude, around. He, he, he married a Latina girl, bro. Yeah, he's still around doing comedy. I saw him wear a Chiva shirt and Mike a disappeared. Eh? What about what, what did you cause he taught me how to host, dog? Yeah, I just I thought it was Chepo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a fucking racket right gay. now, dog. I think yeah, I, who's gay? Who's gay? Chepo point. didn't teach me. Sorry, Chepo didn't teach me shit, dog. He was always a teacher. He taught him what not to do. Yeah. Hey, the bus route told me. But I think at one point I had maybe like four rooms, and then I was booking the improvs too, like the Latino nights in Slanted. Hollywood. Yeah, and the, but then I was I was booking the Latino nights first also, before Richard Villa and them I took it over, but they ran it to shit like. But yeah, dude. but yeah, at one point four or five rooms, and that's how you like I was. Giving Ralphie May spots and Alonzo Bowden, like mm-hmm. fools like that that are in town because it's a Tuesday, Wednesday night. You know what I mean? They're in town, like. But then that always they always remember that because like I remember Ralphie told me, "Nah, you helped me pay my electric bill." Like, because this is before these guys blew up. Like, I know. So yeah. it's like, wow. So the pedigree of comedians. If you look back at those shows that we did, mm-hmm. it was like Willie, Felipe, you know, Alonzo, Gabriel. Ralphie May, any of those guys could pop in at any time, and it was like th- those people there were getting an amazing show. Like, like wow. Sometimes even the Wayans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They were always yeah, they, badass shows. Cat Williams too, right? And all those. Movies. Yeah, Cat Williams, like anyone you could think of. That yeah, I remember Cat Williams was so well. He was called um, Cat in the Hat. Wasn't he at yeah, the Cat Hop the too? Yeah, Every he Wednesday ran that night. Show. That was yeah, at that the was Hop, his right? Well, I remember there was a show at the Montebello Inn, and the black lead told me, "Oh, we made him." <laughs> oh, man. We were there every Wednesday at the hot. <laughs> oh, we made we made him, and we could make you too. <laughs> he hey, was hey good. Uh, all right, Cookie. Didn't a uh, fucking uh, what's that fool's name? Oh my god, he comes out in How High Part Two, dog. The assistant pimp, Red Scruncho. Oh, Scruncho. Yeah, yeah. didn't Scruncho sock somebody up on stage at the hop right there? We sucked up a lot of people, a lot of places. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and he went up to jail, I think, too, for a while. He's in Dre's uh, song, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's Cruncho, something, something. Yeah, it's on the Ooh, Chronic, the new one. Here. I remember Cat Williams would have the green room all dark, and he'd have candles all lit in there, and then he wouldn't perform unless they brought him a bottle like of Cristal. Like a seance, homie. Like every night, yeah. And it's like comics weren't even allowed in there. It was just his spot. Yeah. Have you ever oh. done that, fool? I'd be like, no, uh, homie. I'm in a dark room by myself? Hell no. <laughs> right? No, the I've made on. like requests. Like, hey, I need fucking. Only red M&M's. On. I need vegan this. I need oh, fucking you, you sabor a me. 
I need some masa pan or you're right. Or but I, I marshmallows but I, from fucking Lucky Charms, bro. One time I got the <laughs> wrong rider, like somebody else's rider, and um, they wanted like um, I got Roseanne Barr rider one time by mistake. Oh, uh-huh. well, you kind of look the same. A wrong <laughs> white. And what was on the rider? Was it kind of crazy things or just? Um, just the, they, they want a, he wanted a, I think a six pack of Bud Light. I think back then. And a bottle of Patron, but now he has his own tequila yeah, brand. Yeah, right, right. Uh, number, number one. one. Number one. So yeah. he has his own now, but and he wanted um, hot fresh hot wings from Hooters, <laughs> and um, sad mom wings and some lemon, <laughs> I guess, and whatever, just basic stuff, you know. Yeah, right. Because um, you know, a, a lot of places, you know, you, you might say, "Wow, oh, I'm gonna eat the food there, bro. It's gonna be good." But Fuck when you get that. there, because of COVID, the main restaurants closed now. And so you gotta eat um you gotta eat um fucking um, snack bar food, bro. Uh, fucking um fried Indian fried bread quesadilla. Uh, Some fat food still going out on their trucks. That shit sounds good. Burr, burr. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it like over there living in Vegas, bro? Because every habit I've had that I've, I I try to conquer is in Las Vegas for me. Like like I've been a crackhead. <laughs> and I know there's crack there. Like I know where to yeah, find everywhere, it. Everywhere, dude. I'm the there's a lot of different only, tunnels that you can wherever go there's to that has Sinaloa pollo, there's gonna be cocaine there by. Yep, yep. Right. Wherever there's a a, a dog barking outside a, a dirty ass house, I know there's <laughs> crack nearby. <laughs> and, and you know whatever. And then there's gambling, bro. Man, all the vices are there, dude. I've squandered yeah. a lot of money, dog. Gamble for? I've got him I paid. I never knew that. I got him paid and lost the money though that day. Damn. Dude. What, what do you gamble, bro? Anything, bro. Hundred dollars. Like no, <laughs> slot I mean like or crap, crap. Slot or... machines. I'm dog bro. fights. Uh, dog fights. <laughs> What's your favorite, dog? <laughs> My favorite is the one I always lose on. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel. Oh, for oh, that's you that. fucked me up last week, dog. Cause I put um, I played a dollar one first. And then if it stops on the Wheel of Fortune, fool, it spins. spins right. And it stops at $10. <laughs> it's a come up. But you, but you can't just stop oh, wow. where you owe some <laughs> drug dealer. It's right next to the 100000 one, too. It's like $10. Because then you start stuff. winning, bro, you go like this. Yeah, man, I'm going to get a steak. Nah. <laughs> Cause Cause how, how long here, have dude? you been in Vegas for now? But there's hookers, I'm going to be 10 years. You see hookers yeah. walking around the casino, bro, too, bro? Like, in the, the street. Because sometimes I feel like... Yeah. I feel like, nah, she's a showgirl. Hell well, no. They fired her right now. That's what she's saying. She's sad. sick from her nah, hey, for Honestly, those... How do you do it, bro? Like, if they I... talk to you, then you know they're hookers because no fine chick's really going to talk to you. Do you spot them, fool? Yeah, you can spot them out on the way. And I'm, at your show, huh? Motherfucker, you didn't pay me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's different at some casinos. Like the like the higher level casinos are a little hotter. The lower ones, Circus Circus, you yeah, know. Yeah, and then there's Tropicana Boulevard where they're just fucking... They're actually clowns. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Bullet, the... bullet wounds and shit. <laughs> Stab wounds. Stick your here. How's the <laughs> Marijuana, as far as being legal, is it, is, it, is it like legal to smoke on the streets? Is it legal to smoke in a hotel? Is it legal to walk around with it? Is it legal to buy a hooker and hang out with her? I think if you're just cool and discreet about do it, it, they bro? don't really How sweat do you. Talk you. To these hookers? Like I uh, tell us, they present it for uh, educational purposes. Well, bro. for smoking weed, I, I, you could do it in the parking lot. It's cool as long as you're not blatant it with it. And, you know, all loud. Yeah, yeah. But there's like a like hotel now that's 420 or not, right? I think so. They're working on having you like bars in now that you can do, and you can smoke there. You, you know, know the, I mean? the pit bull of comedy. What's his name? Bobby Slayton. Bobby yeah. Slayton. Yeah. I, I was talking to him. No man, there's too many vices out here, man. I, I, I fucking joined a softball league. <coughs> you know what how I do fuck? it? The fuck! I joined a softball league to gamble. Eh? Where I perform, I don't even see the casino because there's a big long hallway that I go through. So I go in through the back. So I'm, I don't see that. Like I'm not the tempted back, huh? by the gambling. Yeah, after my show, I well, just like the back. come back home. There's not even really a bar Who's in kidding? the theater. It's it's downstairs, so it's not like oh, I'm VIP. drinking. It's not. It's none of that happening. I just do my show. You seen it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're just home. I'm home. Do after you that. have to promote the show, or they got that little fool that walks, or they got that little fool with a fucking gun in his car doing it? I have <laughs> <laughs> parking and shit. I have flyers cool as hell. that are rack cards, and they're on these little ticket. Tickets.com, tickets for sale like that. That's what they promote. <laughs> and then uh, also I get a lot of like people from timeshare presentations. So a lot of oh, people shit. that come in are like first time comedy club people. You know what I mean? And it's a lot of, a lot of country, older yeah. people. 
like it's crazy pressure, dog. Jeff went up there and bombed Barb hard one time. <laughs> of course, because it's, it's all fuck, older dog. people, and he's all trying to. Like, Fucking you know, put you know, they have trying, no arms, but you have to adjust. Crowd work. He's like, yeah, what, what convalescent home you at? Yeah. And, but a lot of people go what in and think they a rocket. Yeah, <laughs> it's a whole I mean, lower different energy. The, 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 the devil, but he does, you know. But but you can't be. You're, I, I can feel that the audience don't know that you. They don't like cocky motherfuckers up there, huh? Yeah, because yeah. you cocky fools. I think it's like, supposed to do twenty, and you got off like at seven or eight, and I was like, yeah. oh my god! And I was like, what happened? But of course, I didn't really say much. But I was just like, oh, you're right, dog. But they're putting <laughs> over in screwdrivers. You said on the way there. I know. <laughs> Bro, um, yeah. it's a different been, beast, since, man. Since you've been there, like, what what the common what's the difference between that comedy scene as? In Las Vegas, for someone that's starting off, as opposed to starting off in California, is it harder in Vegas to start off, or so that food starts in LA? I think it's harder in Vegas to start off because you don't get that true gauge of what an audience is because you're getting people from all over the world. Yeah. So it's a whole different. That's like a tourist type of thing of comedy. And, and there's wise. two circuits, so the one on the street, the bars, or whatever that people do, and then there's a professional circuit where they're expecting like a clean or not even clean, but just a polished comedian with jokes that makes them laugh, right? Yeah. Well, it's like like where you're performing now. It's big marquee events, and it's like that. So someone who's starting off, they're not gonna get. The open mic scene there sucks, bro. It's not That's like what I'm LA. saying. It's like yeah. totally different. Yeah. Opposed to when you do your show at Planet Hollywood, it's way more professional. It's right. dark, all that shit. You're like right. in a club. Yeah. And so they're all just learning bad habits, you know. But it's a whole different level. I think learning in LA, you you meet more other comics, you know, you network better, you you get better rooms and it's it's great. Like there's nothing like me. I came up with the Latino circuit. Like that's how I fucking got stronger, you know. And then from there, I did black rooms and then, you know, white rooms, but never nothing in Asian. But that's the great thing about learning comedy in L.A. versus like Vegas. It's like, it's not a cool scene. You already have to go there with Work Will Be Pro, right? Do you have a, a YouTube one-hour special? Please let everybody know. Yeah, it's uh, YouTube. It's uh, Edwin Samuel live from Las Vegas. You know, I just put it out there like, you know, you got to you got to do your shit. No one's going to do shit oh, yeah, for man. you. Right. And I remember you you were giving me some advice, get my stuff out there and get generate hits on it. So mm -hmm. I've been chopping it up, putting stuff out there. George has been helping me like when we're doing shows to get clips and then put the the, the flyer at the end of it. You know what I mean? So you're getting like uh, maybe 100,000 people seeing that video. And then I mean. It's a whole different game, right? It's very different. I don't, I, you, should, you, like, you should do video, bro. Just you being a foodie, bro. Oh, and then just trying to... No, nah, bro. This is what I ate with these fingers, bro. <laughs> and, then, and then they show yourself eating, bro. People, I will watch I that I shit. I can't believe you picked that up with those fingers. <laughs> His finger looking good. <laughs> Don't drop it. I'll be all frustrated there, trying to eat French fries. There's people price. out there who are worse off doing crazy shit, dog. And, and, and uh, in Vegas, I only know one foodie, and that food is always fighting with people. But um, <laughs> what's a foodie, eh? Someone that likes to eat different yeah, restaurants, yeah, show much yeah. food, yeah. It's like the food. How I delicious thought that was it a is. hey, look, he's, he's flirting with me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Dick, you guys had a foodie show. I'm yeah, looking man. at you the way I look at Butch Escobar when he don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> ah, come on, don't call me Butch, dog. <laughs> don't call me white. Don't call me white. Let me look white. over my notes, bro. Hey, Butch, I love you, but he looks like a bouncer you get on offer up. <laughs> it's funny because he'll show up to your house and put your furniture together, bro. That's what's up, solid. Hey, bro, we what were up, <laughs> we were in Boston, right? And um, hey, I was up there, bro, with a fucking abscess, bro, on my fucking mouth, bro. How? How, bro? Because. I love to smoke now. Nah, nah. <laughs> it was nothing to do with my smoking, bro, because um, I already had my teeth removed already, and I had a nice grill, you know? Yeah. Well, you're dog. not supposed to smoke after all that stuff happens. Uh, so what happened, dog? So Infected. I fucking bit something hard, dog, and it broke inside my gum, bro, the, the tooth. Yeah. So then I said, you know how you are, bro. I can live with it, bro. Yeah. So then finally got infected, bro. There was a big fat pimple in here that made my cheek look like I've been there, my dog. Little bump. I have my little bump. Huh, give me some moxicillin, eh? Bro, Rocky only that, dog. Rocky. I had I had a hemorrhoid, bro, like a guy that they, they told to fucking hide his knife for the first time ever. <laughs> the Oppenheimer bomb, huh? And, and then and people were telling me it's funny stuff and I couldn't pull the knife out. Yeah, bro, I had the hemorrhoid of death. But then that shit went away, right? 
<laughs> and then fucking, it's I'm, always something. I'm getting, bro. I don't want to bring the show down, but I'm fucking. Um, <laughs> Who needs I'm, a doctor? It just I'm goes away. A, I get a text on the way inside the Uber, bro. Already with my big, big, big old fucking lump. Felipe, that just died, and I said, ah. Oh, but but um, luckily, bro, I, I I was focusing more on my my fucking lip, <clears throat> my fucking distraction. Heart. Yeah. Sorry about that. Bro. Sorry wow. about that. Hey, fool, you remember when my dad died after his funeral? You gave me a spot of wild coyote. Hell yeah, bro. I'll never forget that shit, dog. I took 100 from you, but it's all good. (laughs) That was was the first time he gave me all 50. (laughs) Oh, that's right. (laughs) Uh, You know, that was a very sad night, but yeah, man, I'm glad I was there for that. Yeah, he was like. I never, your dad passed away before before we met, huh? Yeah, 1990, before I started comedy. Dude, you know what's crazy, bro? That his dad had a fish market in my neighborhood, homie. Yeah. No way. And we still steal his batteries, bro. Off the <laughs> <laughs> what was it at? What, like, what streets? It was on First uh, Street. First Street, yeah. And Anderson. And Anderson, yeah. Bro, his dad Damn. employed everybody who didn't live in the housing projects. No, but everybody who, who worked there, they all had, bro, they had fucking big old boots, white aprons they, aprons yeah. they fucking um they they cut fish all day it was a fish market oh, shit. there was a a little mexican or a burger joint around the corner and it was in stand and deliver when he fucking throws the bottle at it like psh, oh yeah like, oh like, well, that's right across the street from my dad's warehouse Damn. yeah that was uh that was a, a hamburger stand and right next to the side of it was a was an asian lady who owned a burger stand donna's donna's burgers when your dad first came from the philippines where did he live at or we first lived in Wimas, Wilmington. Wow. Your dad was in the military, though, right? Yeah, he was in the Navy. So oh, then when he, we moved out here, he was making, a, like, Filipino foods. He was exporting it from the Philippines to the naval commissaries. World War One or World War II? Uh, <laughs> two. Yeah. <laughs> Grandpa and shit. That's <laughs> 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 yeah, 40. Fuck my mom when she was 12. Vietnam War. <laughs> no, it was a Vietnam War. But he was a little kid, yeah. I think, during – they were – Against the war with Japan, so that would oh. be World War Two. Oh wow! Okay. But he was yeah, a runner was... as a, and, and the you know so he would deliver yeah, messages. That was for the Philippine like Army or the American, the American Army. Army. Oh, so under would, MacArthur. Yeah, he would deliver MacArthur. messages and stuff like that. Damn. But then, but then that was when he was little. And then he became one of the like, there wasn't that many Filipinos that they were taking in to be United States Navy. So he was like, it was a big news, a big deal. There was no nurses back then. That's how he got Damn, citizenship. Dude. Let me yeah. tell you right now, man. Filipinos right now, they who are in the Navy, they, they own. There's a shitload of Navy Filipinos to this day, and um, they, if you ever worked uh, any any kind of military gig, just mention the the fucking uh, Filipino mafia, and because um, all the fucking Filipinos they they're, they're in charge of the better jobs the inside, running shit. inside the Navy. Yeah, they like run the shit. Really? The cooks. What what's the name of the gang? No, they just call oh. them that, oh. but because they, they run they run the best jobs in the Navy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. you got to learn how to point with your lips yeah, if you want to get shit because <laughs> they'll hook it up. <laughs> but that's how it was. My dad used to cut the hair in there for the admiral and shit like that. He would brag about it like because every time he would fuck my haircut, I like, get a fucked up haircut like yours. Bro, look at this shit. Like, my dad would always be like, oh, I, like I used to cut the shit in the admirals and then in the shit there. I would cut the hair there. Like, don't. You shouldn't be working in a strike, bro. Why are you, why are you, why are you like, looking like an elf? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Dude, they fucked up my hair. I told that fucking bicep lady. Keeps going dude. back, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. my fault. I brought it. There, How many bro. brothers do you have? <laughs> I have two older brothers and one sister. And she married to a black guy, right? Yeah, and he's a lawyer. So my brother-in-law, the brother-in-law, my, my brother-in-law. Brother. Yeah, man. That's crazy. That's yeah. one of my first jokes I've ever wrote. And then it's like the the thing that I use is my closer in Vegas now. I show the video of me getting arrested and stuff like that, and I show that it's like, oh, it's pretty cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you a hardcore Catholic, like? I used to be. I don't. I don't practice as much. You said fuck all that. You know, <laughs> but now I'm. I'm going more for my daughter. So I take her every Sunday. We go to mass. You know. But when I when I moved out and then my wife got married and she wasn't going to church, I was like, fuck yeah, I don't have to go to church no more. You know. And then, but now I'm. I'm craving it. I miss it. I feel like it's something missing in my wife, my daughter's life. So it's kind of a full circle type of thing. It's like. Before you're forced to do it when you're 14, yeah. but then you get to a, a age of reason and you want to do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Reason. Well, you have to. I mean, you have to have something. I yeah, guess, you know? yeah. I like going to church when it's Christmas time and uh, just to eat it. You know? You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those homie. But yeah. How long? How long have you been married for? Oh, fucking eight years. I think nine years. Fuck. <laughs> Feels like three years. 
underwater. Ten years. <laughs> Seven years. Um, I remember you were building that badass pool, bro. Yeah, it's up now. It's up now. Yeah. But I'm gonna lose it now because I, when we get divorced, he's, I, I'm just gonna give her the house, bro. I'm like, so she doesn't have nothing to stress out on over. I'm gonna try to start over. Are you still gonna live in Vegas? I don't know, man. I'm tempted. Well, you're I'm tempted to move back to give up the house. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. You, I'm <laughs> renting a house right now. It's oh, around the corner, no way. so we're like co-parenting, and it's working out okay this way. But Hen- okay. Exclusive. Right, <laughs> 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 get your news right here, Felipe. Open up like I know. I'm about to cry. Go ahead, play. I told us what's for my dad to this day. I remember. Good job. So when when I met you guys, right. Uh, when I was dating uh, your niece, step niece, <laughs> step niece right now. I know, like, oh, yeah. I know, the, the one that got away. Oh, no, no, there's no chat. The step, one that stepped away. Oh. <laughs> so you guys were headlining uh, together the ice house. Remember, you guys took the pictures. The, the him and your niece? No, no. <laughs> Her sister, eh? Me and Felipe were, yeah, yeah. They uh-huh. did the they did the ice house hey, too. You, they, you guys had badass flyers, the Blues Brothers. Because our Jesus neighbor God. that lived across was photographer. Yeah, that shit was fire. Was though. I was hating though. Pizza, too. Dude. We went out looking for costumes and outfits. He did it for a bottle of scotch. Damn. That was like 2009, 2010. Bro. Uh, when, when this fool was living with Lloyd Christmas, bro, when they were living, um, well, at the loft. After when, you bailed? Well, I was living at the loft first. I bailed it. Edwin moved in. Bro, they would have fight nights, bro. Like actual like, fights? They'll, they'll get the, the, the low, Pacquiao uh, the, fight. They'll get the oh. Pacquiao fight, and then charge fa- we'll charge fans to watch the fight, and they would do comedy. Afterwards, yeah. It's in a the good loft. idea, though. In the bedroom, bro. Yeah. Sit on the bed. Eh? And uh, and then uh, Lloyd Christmas made these small specials. little tables. We had chairs up. Well, badass. Joe Diaz did it. Like you did it. That's right, cocksuckers. I'm doing it for little scoots, scoots. Willie yeah. did it. He was like, man, you guys better laugh, or I'm gonna jump out this window, please. Because there are big ass <laughs> windows, right, that bro. you can open hey, up and you can that's see through. Willie Barcelo was banned from Be Real TV. <laughs> <laughs> so we gave this for some peanut butter right now. Turned from. From, Look, I, I saw silent, Willie, bro. There's a clip out there. Because I was looking for it. I was looking for it. I was looking for it. Orderly silent over here. I was looking hey, for it. Uh, TMZ right here. Fucking <laughs> too much. He's like, I'm going to be with him next week. I do, bro. Because I was looking for Willie Barsen on B-Roll TV because he's always an interesting guest, you know? He's, he's, he's out there, right? And, uh, you know, he segues and shit. He segues. But... See but then I couldn't was. find that one. But you know how you look it up with uh, Willie Barcena, BBO TV? And I went to another page with another guy that's like a cholo. And um, Hoodstocks. Hoodstocks. That's the homie. What's up to my boy out you there, what? Lucky? Shout out to Hoodstocks Podcast. What's the They're name? with the business. Are they real? Podcast? Lucky. It's called Hoodstocks. The homeboy Lucky. Yeah, Hoodstock. Uh, and um, and um, if you want to know more about what I'm talking about, Go listen to the podcast of that one with Willie. Hey, Martina. Felipe, you should have him on your homie. He's a real fool. He did like 18 years in prison. Damn. And now he he brings people on his podcast that went from prison to degrees. He has a degree. He works in underground construction. It's a positive message the homeboy sends. You know? So, um, yeah, man, both of them were kicked off on the B-Roll TV podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive on <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, He does positive <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, b like, hey. Both bro. of them. <laughs> anyway, man, I've never been kicked off on a podcast because when I go on a podcast, I know what they want. They want me to, to tell jokes. They want to talk to them. That's fine. And uh, I'm mainly there to promote myself. So if, if, if they, I'm just every once in a while, yeah, man. Where are you going to be at? We're going to be October 7th at the Microsoft Theater. Now the Peacock Theater. Hey, uh, wh- what podcast were you intimidated? Yeah, hell yeah. Because I know when I did Rogan Dog, I was like not intimidated, but I was like, damn, fool. Bro, I did a podcast with Joe Rogan. That shit was four hours, bro. Exactly. And let me tell you, man, you know what it dude. felt like? Oh, man, it was four hours long. Shout out to Rodrigo waiting on the back. <laughs> four hours? What are you guys talking I'm here about drinking, for that long? Taking my tennis, bro. <laughs> huh? And um, they, they were back there playing with Marshall, fool. It was, yeah, he was playing with a dog. Yeah, and the Wolfman, dude. It was four hours. You know what it felt like, dude? Church. It felt like, you know, when you go because no, it's four hours long. It's like I could be in traffic school or something to do for four hours. It felt like you're dri- almost driving to San Jose. Go, That's a whole radio block. We were going to roller coasters, 
at Six Flags all day long. I'm too short. And then when you lay down in your bed, you still feel like you're rolling on those well. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like when you're swimming. You still feel like or you're Or you're swimming. on a long road trip. Then when you lay down, you still feel like you're driving. Yeah. Fair That's how that feel. was. I, I closed my eyes, bro. I could hear Joe Rogan talk, bro. Yeah, yeah. If cool. I'm mad, I only did three hours on there. He got an extra We did hour. a show twice, right? No, I've only done it once. I did his part, but I've been on... I've done shows with them, but only the podcast one. Chip will help you get on, right? <laughs> yes. He sacrificed for me. Four hours. He goes, hey, for you could wear my brother's jersey. I remember one. I remember one now. Um, I, I, I hooked up. I didn't, I didn't hook him up with anything, right? I just said, because um, he wanted to get on, on Be Real TV. And I said, well, I know um, this guy. And then he goes on. And he goes on that fucking um, E-Zone show. With the other homie, man, those cool dudes. We don't, we don't smoke the same. It was, yeah, yeah it was well. a light skin vato though with the glasses. Yeah, Sheiky, uh the Sheik, dog. The Sheik. Sheik, what's up, Sheik? Shout out to your podcast, bro. George Prince story. Still no, doing it. it. Yeah, we ain't fucking around. Shirt, We're bro. Bro. Yeah, yeah. You got sponsored now and shit, right? Yeah, dog. I get yeah. fucking that stuff, that shaving shit. Yeah, Manscape, La Venedita, JB, and Sun Street Service, and one of our biggest sponsors, Gunther. Enough, dog. bro. They're not getting paid for all this. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm Gunther. Sorry. Hold on, dog. Hey, Do you 2X? Me? 2X? 2X, please. I promise. Gunther's. We got to get Felipe a fucking Pendleton. 2X. I got, you short hooked me sleeve. up with a nice one. I gave yeah. him a hey, yeah. short sleeve. Small, not good skinny, though. You're dying yeah, with know. Like, fucking divorced, bro. It's fucking going up. She <laughs> sucked you dry, bro. <laughs> They're sucking the life out of you. And no I went to her body. No more lumpias, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy, though, bro? You look happy. Who, me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all great acting. It's just what it is. But no, I'm happy, bro. Nothing makes me happier than my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And then right now, I mean, on my, my podcast, right here I gotta, too, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> you I mean, I don't got, hey, I'm, my, my, I'm proud of you. See, my dad never told me that, but <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's our job now is to do things that our parents didn't do. Right. And like for us to step in and uh, provide for that and be that or enhance it, enhance it or, or take it to the next level and be better. You know, Your son lives with you, right? Who? Your little George. No, all my kids moved out, dog. Mm. Only my lady lives with me now. How about you, bro? Your son. My sperm sucks, bro. You I don't have no kids? I've been, dude, I've been blasting for like the past two years. But nothing happens. <laughs> you bro. haven't been blasting, though. <laughs> bro, I, I've been Baja blasting. You, just you been shoot stabbing. blanks, homie. He's been fucking I'm dripping. Shooting, I'm shooting blanks, bro. Maybe Stephanie's count mm, Maybe it's no, your lady. Because my ex. Stop, our, stop, my, stop my, lifting my, heavy bags, bro. <laughs> no, she, she does computers. It's tight underwear you wear all the time. Hey, do you fuck to oldies or like Green Day? Like, what do you fuck to? What do you mean? Oh, Kirby music? Hancock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude, see, doo, doo. so I fuck to music, doo, doo. but I don't pay for the subscription. His sperm comes. I, I, I don't play. I don't play for this. I don't pay for the subscription on Pandora. So when I fuck, ads come out. You know, oh, 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 Riley. You know, so, like, so yeah. This food sperm comes out like that little ice cream dot. <laughs> <laughs> but I know my sperm doesn't work because like my my two exes, you know, I was younger. They they all have uh, babies in it like. That's a play volunteer. Right? Maybe you can't take it deep enough. Like no, dude, I do. Hey, man, the same, the same did you want to have a me? kid when you had yours? Was it planned out? Or Hell did? no. Oh, I get. But she was hot. I was like, this is probably the hottest chick I've been with. And I was like, oh, <laughs> blasted off inside of her. And then it was like, don't promote her. Dog. Constantly. No. The timing worked out. <laughs> He's a don't, don't promote her. Don't promote her. No. <laughs> what do you mean, don't promote her? <laughs> There's all kinds of social media. <laughs> She's hey, she's doing uh, better than my podcast is right yeah. now. Oh, you have a podcast? You need a co-host. You don't even know I have a podcast. Like I don't. I don't have... <laughs> Did you always have a different Instagram and shit? Because yeah. you're the podcast? one with Krasner right no, now. She got more followers yeah, than all of us. It's called the ESJ podcast. I don't have sponsors. <laughs> like this time. How? how many? We follow your wife. Right. Oh, she has a little schedule where she like gets up and then a lot of work. she does her she so does her social media stuff like at night, but then she does her OnlyFans shit in the day. So. Oh, so the OnlyFans. Yeah. During the pandemic it saved us, bro. I would have lost that, the house. That could be your sponsor, bro. Everybody gets a free pass. Everybody gets two percent off. When I met her, she had private parts. Now she's got public parts. <laughs> we need to work on this relationship, bro, and get it back to where I need it was to work at. on material, I think. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm waiting to get divorced so I can talk about all this. Hey, right there. He yeah, told me you met her at she, you met her at a show. Yeah, yeah. She had a boyfriend at the time, and then what did you say when you hooked it up? We took photos. She had like Filipino shoes on, or was the flag and all that. And I just noticed. And then after was that, you taller than her because your last chick she was taller than you. Yeah, I was taller. She, than everything her. was bigger than. Her. Dude, she had big hands. My last chick, she I, tried yeah, to dude. jack me off. I was like, no, nah, I'm cool, bro. Yeah. It's like, like, yeah, my dick's small already. <laughs> right? I don't need to look smaller. Than With a pinky. <laughs> and then she had a half Samoan son. She was like, fuck, bro. Like, it was good material there, though. For hey, we were almost related. She, 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 her, yeah, she, well, she, taller, been, huh? she was taller than you. And... Yeah, she was She was taller than so you. So when she was on top of you, I felt like, like if you ever holding a piano going up the stairs, <laughs> who's the one that's upstairs? <laughs> Put it on the shoulder. Are you the bo- are you the guy in the bottom feeling the pressure? <laughs> I, I mean, you know, we took turns All bringing right. the piano upstairs. Oh, yeah. Progressive couple. Because you know, sometimes I you want it upstairs, sometimes you want it downstairs. So. But that's funny, man. Because I remember being when people. I remember when I was talking about like you ever had a woman ride you so well that you felt like she raped you too. Yeah. That she had your hands uh, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good feeling, man. Never. Yeah. My legs were up too, bro. Oh, damn, dude, damn, what else dude. is going on? Damn, you feel like a little baby bro. <laughs> getting a diaper called. changed. She's burning my arm. Let me know. Shit. Like George Clooney and Born After Reading, you built that little fucking <laughs> ride. Hey, anyway. Hey, like, go remember. <laughs> damn, dude. What's up, George Perez? When you're going back to fucking party and um, uh, fucking uh, the RGV. What's that? The real Green Valley, right? The real Grande Valley? Oh, in Texas. Well, I haven't been that. No, I, I'm more what's chill now. Super my... Sammy, what's his name? Super Salazar, dude. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, no disrespect to nobody, but when I met that Vato, he put a bad taste in my mouth, and I'm glad that he's doing better now. But I'm you're not... sleeping in, with, the, with the mouth open or what? <laughs> nah, <laughs> dog. That fool was bad. Just, you, know, me, you, know, house and, you know, you know me, though. I'm that kind of fool that's like, <laughs> hey, I need hey. to stay away from shit like this. I'm good. I'm not trying to go out there. You and Willie have a show this weekend? Yes. No, next week Woo. at the Vulcan, September 1st, September Austin, 2nd. Texas. Hell Austin, yeah. Austin, Texas. Yeah. 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 And I'll be at the Mothership and the Sunset Strip with Brian Redman. And Fuck Willie going yeah. to those shows too? Huh? Willie going to be at those shows? Of course. Yeah, at the Mothership? I'm going to try to get him in. All right. I can't promise. But The Sunset with Christina Alvarado and Redman. They own that shit, right? Yeah, uh, and somebody else. Yeah. There's like three, four to four, four partners. Man. Hey, would you guys buy a club? Hell no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so we're looking to buy a club. Yeah? yeah? We're going to call it, dog. What's up, fools? No. Cheerleaders. <laughs> Cheerleaders. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. The Giggle Hut. In the valley, yeah. I think. Oh, you should, the 80s dog. boom over here on the say Chuckle that, Hut. Risa's Comedy what? Club, bro. No. Are you looking to buy a club, comedy club? No. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, fool, Simi uh, Valley. I, I thought of you like two weeks ago, dog. Like you were in like my soul. Popeye was like, hey, fool, let's meet at El Tapiac. And you grew up in that area. Remember I, hit, yeah. I called you up? Hey, I haven't been there since I was like young. But now that I'm older, I was like. That fucking area is hood and gangster ass. It's bro. never gonna. Uh, it's gonna take a long time to get gentrified. Bro. I've only oh, been there yeah. twice, bro. By the Since way. Since you left, I went through when I little, and I went through during that's coming standing. Yeah. There was a big ass line, and man, my, my, my dad was like, "La verga with these burritos." Dude. With that wet ass burrito, huh? it's not worth it. And that fucking pervert, <laughs> my, rest in peace. <laughs> and then that fucking he died because Manny, he, yeah, who. Manny, the, I thought you were talking about his dad. The yeah, owner, that was the, the owner. Manny special. Was Manny, that yeah. big old the, he was a pervert. Supposedly, dude. how do you know? He had, he had to you girl. only, probably. He had on every girl. Wait, allegedly. Allegedly, okay. Oh, is there paperwork He's on this now, shit? So there's no oh, we can cut this out. Yeah, if there's no paperwork, sorry, shut sorry. your ass up, Rizzo. Yeah. He will get. He's not gonna. Pay. He can't get canceled. He's telling <laughs> about because um, he will. You, he went with me, right? He will give everybody tequila shots, even if you're underage. Uh, he was hitting. He, he was hitting on your daughter that one time. How was she? Eighteen. Oh, like twenty. She shows, shows her twenty-one. Then what are you yeah. tripping on? You know, but like, but I heard stories about that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah tell uh, one of the story. Bro. How old are you, Rizzo? I'm thirty-five. Twenty-one. Now, 20, I'm twenty-one. Yeah. You're thirty-five for the last two 21, years. Twenty-one. You're. Uh, you're older than your waistline. No, I'm gonna be thirty. Mm. I'm gonna be thirty. Wait, how many? He doesn't I'm even have his birth certificate. You have a show tonight, right? Tonight. Yeah. Eighty-seven. What year? Oh, cool. How old am I? 
Hey, but you know what though? <laughs> uh, I do have a show on November second <laughs> at the Comedy Store main room. It's me and Concrete. We're gonna co-headline. Oh yeah. And I got Edwin on. And uh, yeah, you know. But hey, yeah. I'm I'm gonna do a week a monthly show there, where I could just bring back all the old homies in the belly room, and. F- Whoever wants to work on new material with the new crowd, I'm not going to promote no one's name. I'm just going to give everybody five comics, 100 bucks, come in, boom, work out your shit and go home. Be right Is that there, cool? Man. Fuck yeah. yeah. That's good. In that's town, a, that's I mean, sick, shoot, dude. Yeah. Yeah. In town? That's perfect, do, dude. Do you do a lot of crowd work in Vegas with your audience? Like, talk to the audience. Hey, where are you from? Yeah, I don't do the whole where you from, where you Mary work Swanson at. Mary Swanson from Wisconsin. But if it comes man, out organically, I feel I like I'll so do it. I was so nervous, bro. Where's your doctor at? Why? I do talk to the audience, right? But it's not really my thing, right? And yeah, you're I, polished. I, I was fucking, I, had to do the, I did the Montreal Comedy Festival. Hell yeah. Dude. And I was booked to do a show called Surrounded, which will be on Meta. Look out for it. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> but, dude, it was like... Um, you're, I'm, I'm in the middle where this table is, and I'm surrounded by audience members, 150, 150 people, and there's five comedians, and everybody, <clears throat> the host, which is Lil Rel, he did crowd work. Oh, hey, wow. where you from? And then um, the second comedian, hey, what's up, man? Where you from? What, what you do for a living? And then me too, bro. So, I, fuck, dog. That shit was fucking with me all night. Like, there was like, nothing left. I had a hemorrhoid, bro. So nerve. Oh, I lost a lot. Yeah, I lost hemorrhoid two. here or here? Everywhere, bro. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> fucking um, Dan Sauter was in that blast. But yeah, man. He's yeah. funny. So yeah, so uh, what I did was uh, I did crowd work for like a month, bro, at my shows. Just to get ready no for it? No way. To get ready. W- and was used... your crowd acting different? Because you, that's not your style. No, man. It was like different. They were embarrassed. <laughs> and uh, and uh, they don't know how to, how to react, dog. But um, I was trying to keep it very mellow, right? Um, like there was a woman, there was a woman, there was a handsome son, and I said, "Um, that's your mother, man." Yeah. Was your father? Oh, I don't know. I'm your father, dog. And everybody dies, dog. Ah. Uh, you know, it's clean, you know. Yeah, and it's better than wh- wh- where you from, where you work at. Like, I mean, yeah. Oh, another one is um, this, was, this uh, that that didn't work. I didn't get to that question, but I asked somebody on, on stage, um, because she was very, they were all happy, and I said, "What, what do you call your husband's penis?" That like, we're not around, like we're on your friend. What's the nickname for it? She said, um, "Mush big uh, mushroom head," oh, and the crowd Lord died. Bella, homie. Cause w- what they told her in the show, like make sure, sh- like try to focus more on the audience. Let them be the punchline. So you have to work so hard. Oh, okay. So I was fucking, I was nervous. I was, I went, I got, I got through. Well, most he- headliners that do crowd work, they don't want anybody going up before them doing any kind of crowd work. Right? Enough so about that person, bro. This shows about the What's Up Food podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, just in general. Yeah, that guy has uh, another podcast somewhere that's gonna <laughs> stop doing it. Eh? That's Where too- are my keys? Eh? <laughs> you like wrestling. <laughs> the single you had a podcast a long before there was podcast, bro. It says she says, right? She says which one? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. With, with my wife when we started it out, but that didn't go off well. She would get mad and just walk off, and I was like, "What the fuck did I do?" <laughs> well, those are the best, like, those are the best podcasts, bro. Yeah, I was like, "What the fuck happened?" Come back, real dude. Before, How did you start your podcast, bro? You just bought a fucking took a mic from. <laughs> Red Bear. From, from, took a microphone for a fucking track auto and shit. Nah, uh. Who <laughs> said track auto? Honestly, bro. dog, I got to give it up. I was at the comedy store at this time, and like, uh, I met Brian Redband in the in the bar, and he was just like, "Hey, how, is this your first time here?" I go, "Yeah, that's my first time here." And then he was just like, "Do you know what a podcast is?" And I was like, "Nah." You know what Coke is? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to hear shit about it. Time George told me, D- George calls me up, Dick, I'm over here at Rose Battle, Dick. I'm over here doing mad bums with Johnny Depp. <laughs> yeah. You did bums with fucking yeah, Johnny Depp. Yeah, Johnny Depp. Yeah. But Cassie so Jack check this Sparrow, out. Bro, every time she went, like, every time you saw shit on the bed. Every time you saw her, Rose Battle. Every time you saw her in the fucking, in the oh. fucking courtroom doing this, 
That was for one of George's jokes. Hey, but Damn, this dude. is the fucked up part. Is I sometimes I used to confuse John Mayer and John Depp together, and I walked up to John Bro, Mayer. I got it? the bag. He was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> they both yeah. play guitar. Hey, and and where, then afterwards, he hit me up. People though, dog. say John Mayer wears stupid hats too, bro. But you know what though? And then uh, Tony Hinchcliffe was the one that gave me the name. Tony Hinchcliffe was like, "How many people turn ugly when John Mayer comes in, bro?" The whole room, eh? All right. But that's, you know, I got the sack, the so I'm still cute. Be. When you got the sack, you're still relevant. <laughs> but Tony Hinchcliffe and Red Band. Yeah, to that back start getting low, bro. You get back to being <laughs> yeah. this fool, this chili here who looking like hey, Evil's cousin. Like <laughs> <laughs> Scent dog over here. Cutie pie. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Tony Hinchcliffe was like, George, just call it GPS. <laughs> George Perez stories. And when people search <laughs> GPS, It'll be the second thing that pops up. Yeah, I was like, that's good. and then he goes, just have, you don't even need. I could be doing this voice like somebody who had to fucking rob me out of my jewelry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody trying to chisel me out of my lower price. And they took everything. Uh, but hey, you know what, though? Tony Hinscliffe, hey, he's feed me as fuck to me. I paid 10. Uh, feed me. He's oh. a feed my homie, dog. Oh, yeah. I he's met, the first time I met Tony Hinscliffe, I met him at the Playboy Mansion with um, Jeff Roth. Oh wow! We're doing a show for um, burn victims. Wounded warriors. Wounded warriors <laughs> at the penthouse. <laughs> was that all the girls I love how that worked your there? memory. Dog the gangbang, huh? The wounded warriors. They were, <laughs> telling me, they were telling me at that show. Oh, bro, this is like a show, like for like serious thing. But you should be here when it's a, for some a real real party. It's different. Uh, I mean, and now I can remember in my head was Paul G is telling me that he took this chick. To the Playboy Mansion, and they were in a brothel, whatever that thing is called, the water, the cave. The yeah. The what? The grotto. The grotto. grotto. Well, the that grotto. waterfall. <laughs> That's a big difference. <laughs> That's a brothel yeah, with the she grotto. She threw all, throws up in there. <laughs> no. Too many martinis. That fool's arms went up. She, she smelled threw, the armpit. Uh. She threw up, and it, she ended up being like a found out she was like a Jehovah Witness. Never been out. Never really been drinking ever. Oh. Damn, they get them from everywhere, huh? Where you think you were going, lady? Playboy Mansion, you always wanted to be a necklace. I never gave a, gave a fuck about Playboy Mansion, dog. Because you're all about car shows, bro. <laughs> <laughs> those fucking, those, uh, those you always had it easy, dog. <laughs> right. yeah, models, I'm down for a little you had dip a cute in the grotto. Hey, hey, you were hey, a football hey, star. Hey, who you was played that with high Iverson and shit. Hey, who was that high in a Dazza? Remember her? Enough yeah. about my lady, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you and MC Pancho better stop posting photos of her. Oh, shit. Now, yeah. for anybody who's out there, Daza, she was... The OG. The, the, the uh, it, you know, there's an it girl for, like, 1950 um, models, you know? She was... Betty the, Page. When you go to a lowrider show, she was the only one that was there. Yeah. She was there before that other girl got famous for uh, Maxim Magazine. Exactly. Anyway, she, <laughs> she was on the girl that was on every flyer. They stole her photo and put on every flyer. Yeah. She was on every, every car Page show. You're talking about. Yeah, man. Bro, I did a show, bro, where, uh, oh my God, I remember I got, we never got paid afterwards, but I got paid for that show, but never got more money. And, um, bro, it was Gilbert Esquivel, Joe Diaz, me, and Paul Rodriguez. And uh, it was for that black promoter in Sacramento. Louis Bland? Another fool, man, but you know, you know who he is. <coughs> okay. And um, and Gilbert Escobar, our dog, and um, so it was supposed to be taped. We, we filmed it in San Francisco, bro. The DVD came out, though, yeah. right? Yeah, and I fucking bought a, I tried, I bought a suit so they could, pro, to get promotion later on, get free clothes. I was all, bro, not even, I didn't even dress like this, but I just wanted free clothes. So I got all <laughs> ac academic out, bro. Oh, oh that brand? Like BT? That was during like uh, Dada and Fubu days. I had a wow. I had, I had academic yeah. track suit. I had academic totally, totally. shoes, bro. Old tree. Ac academic pants, academic sweater. I had no academics. Everything, bro. <laughs> Underwear. And man, dude, and that well that that um that car model was there. That's a, yeah, she was bad. Who's that damn? Dude, she's still beautiful, bro. She's still doing the game. Give I give her mad props. 
should marry her, bro. Can't. <laughs> She's older than my oldest brother, dog. Who cares, bro? That's I'm never going to get that's married. Dream, girl. I'm never, that's not my dream, I see girl. You, this is my I old see, lady. I see you in yeah. the your future marrying her, bro. Like, I don't even have her magazines no more, dog. You can look. You can I Google see you, like, all the pages stuck together. Recording your stats, bro. <laughs> is it about Daza? Getting mad because you're going to walk your own. <laughs> Why do highness get mad at that spot? Because it's the pickup spot. It is, dog. <laughs> this fool is a sunset room king over here. See... Uh, I'm the sunset room king. He claims it. No, no, I, no, I don't. No, no, hey, no. what about with my homeboy born the Asian chick in the alley? Oh, hey, it was here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so that was the night homeboy won. Uh, Felipe won last comic standing. It was pandemonium, bro. Everything, yeah. Like, bro, something, his, but something about his that homeboy uh, flip flop. No, he had um basketball shorts and his yeah, knees no, were bleeding. Okay, I knew that I, fool. What? That fool was a real OG, man. He, yeah. he passed the sock check and fucked an Asian chick. So this was around On top so of like an aluminum. This was night Felipe won last comic Asian standing. Just a random Asian lady that went that to a bar. They didn't speak <laughs> any English, bro. The night Felipe won last comic standing. Your aura was just like come like somehow Wait, like. Why are you yelling? I, I need <laughs> to have headphones <laughs> on, fool. That's why. I need to get this out. Your aura was just like somehow like just yeah, spilling fool, you over. Glowed. And everybody was just getting like laid because of you, bro. <laughs> like you know this guy. Hey, dog. Whatever Chef happened, got laid night, off. Man, and whatever happened, the devil was there, bro. I know. And then after all that shit, I told that motherfucker, bro. I I, I could hear it in a little ass voice. Fuck it, fucking sore winner, Ray. Yeah, if I told you that shit. Sore no, winner. hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> hey, <laughs> check this out. My I new told you. Hey, so hey, hey check this easy. out, dog. He has some good little zingers yeah, on. Yeah, hey, Felipe <laughs> walks into the That's sunset like a, room, he kicks the, the door zinger. down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. He's like, I won Lost Comic Standing, and the devil's NBC. on stage. The devil's on stage. He's like, right. fuck you, get out of here. <laughs> And then Felipe just punks him on stage and finally leaves. And the no, devil no, 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 Felipe. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah he grabs the, no, the microphone and then he's like, congratulations. And it looks like they're about to shake hands. Yeah. Like, like, oh, they're going to be friends again. And then Felipe goes, Say. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. And then the devil goes, talk about sore winner. <laughs> and, then, and then Felipe jumps on the couch in the back. He's yeah. like, you're a fucking, you're a fucking cartoon. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was fun, it? dog. I got pictures of that shit. But I went on when... Um, <laughs> There was a time, dog, when uh, these fools showed up to the haha, right? And um, we we're talking about this, this comedian that took some my joke, whatever, right? And he goes, "Yeah, man, who took who took the joke, dog?" Uh, um, and Edwin, um, right here, man, I even saw him, man. He let the comedy police let you walk up to over here, dog, and tell him that was Felipe's joke, dog. He goes, "Nah, man." You ain't the fucking comedy police. You're the fucking comedy crossing guard, dog. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> just... Ivan's an OG in the game, huh? Was he Felipe never a brought comic? Him along. Yeah. Felipe what brought what him was along. Ivan though? He was always he was like working I'm be at a Yoshinoya. Man. With well, Felipe working at Yoshinoya, Dodger and... Stadium, bro. Oh, that's how he got in. I so think. you met him because you used to work yeah. there. Want a shrimp, bro? That fool paid his dues, bro. He, he did it two years of hanging out, not making money. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Hanging out with comics. Wow. He even got laid at Casa Latina, bro. <laughs> it's that's why he, 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 he got mad, dude. I got his arrest. It's that aura, bro. And just fucking yeah, man. oozing over. Dude. What's up, full page? Before you go, what's your Instagram? Tell him. We're gonna close it out. My bladder, bro. My, <laughs> <laughs> my cholo bladder, homie. Yo, uh, George Perez, George P Comedy on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, follow me. Follow him to the bathroom right now. Edwardson Juan, right here, man. Yes, sir. I got this Saturday. I'm gonna be at the Stand Up Comedy Club doing that uh, comedy fest, LA. Bellflower. LA Bellflower. Comedy Bellflower. Fest. Yeah. Hell yeah, nice dude. Club. Yeah, I'm doing that okay. this Saturday. And then my social media is just Edwin San Juan, Instagram. Is I got a podcast. Like well, that's well, my account got hacked, so then that's how I just go. But now it's just back to the Edwin San Juan. Yeah. Where else do comedy at? Bruce does, does comedy still? Bruce's Lounge, they do comedy Wednesday still nights? every Wednesday uh -oh. since like Every Wednesday, forever. Bruce Bruce's Lounge, right? It's actually going on tonight. It's so be either Vic or Sebastian, right? If you're looking for a comedy, no, Sebastian um, Satina. Bruce's, yeah, okay. It's a bad and the Bruce is always there, dude. You know, hanging out with the young ladies. So yeah. And then there's um the fucking the club you're doing stand up, right? In Bellflower. Bellflower, yeah, cool. Uh -huh. That's on Saturday. Covina Laugh Factory just opened up. Covina Laugh Factory, the Laugh Factory. I'm yeah. gonna be there tomorrow, this weekend, and uh, yeah. So yeah, I got yeah, it. man. Hell yeah, man! For more for ticket information, go to FelipeWorld.com. 
Thank you, Edwin, very much, Woo! man. You should oh, come man. back, bro. We could have oh, did uh, four hours. Yeah. We <laughs> yeah, just I'm scratched down, the surface, bro. bro. Hell yeah. Fuck. Just touch the surface, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. We Appreciate touched, it. We